We are live. Hello, I saw that comment, Avid's late again. It was 12, 3, 29 and 58 seconds <laughs> on my end. So I just barely made it, but I think we're here. I'm on time. I try to be on time. I take this very seriously. Hello, everybody. Hi, how's everybody doing? I see Avid late. I'm on. Hold on a second. Here we go. I had to click go live. I'm live. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. I was here. I promise I was on time. Um, but uh, I didn't click the go live button. I'm, I'm really sorry. I did it again. <laughs> uh, it's funny. I started recording uh, before I clicked go live. So you will see this in the replay that I was talking to you guys for about a minute <laughs> and realized, uh, yeah, I realized I wasn't live. Hello everybody. Hi friends. How you doing? Hello. So many avid late, avid late, avid late again. Seriously. <laughs> oh man. Yes. Hello. Hi Zoe. How are you doing? Player of Minecraft. Good to see you. Destroyer of clock, red dust, Expired, Galaxy, Lucas, Sky Knight, Ead. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Shaxon, we got the whole crew here today. I'm excited, guys, I'm excited. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Start the stream an hour early. Uh, OVX Nam, welcome, welcome. I'm not sure if I've seen your name here before, so welcome to the stream. And uh, Igor, welcome as well. Guys, we are gonna have some fun today. <laughs> We're actually in a room that has never been seen before unless you're uh, you're on my Discord. Um, so yeah, welcome, welcome. Uh, I, it, you know what, there's another room that has never been seen before. Do you guys, do you guys wanna see the other room that's never been seen before? Well, unless you're in my Discord. <laughs> okay, I, I, I can assume the answer is, is yes. Um, saw it on the thumbnail. Yeah, this is kind of my my thinking for other side. In the last stream, we all worked together to come up with, oh, red dust, big F for red dust right now, everybody. Um, <laughs> yeah, in the last stream, we kind of came up with a color palette for those alien chandeliers. And, and I took it as many levels beyond that as I possibly could. And uh, let's just take a quick look in spectator on this one here, because it's pretty neat. So this room here is like the, the ocean, the aquarium is above this little entrance area. You know, imagine if this thing was like blown out a million times. Like if I had, if I had world edit or hours and hours of time, you, we would take this idea and kind of, you know, doesn't it feel extra dimensional? It's super different. It's super different. And then I kind of use that diffuse light technique um, that doesn't really work amazingly with the separated layers of glass unless you have Optifine. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I love this entrance hall. I love this entrance hall so much. I spent two and a half hours on it, which is probably more time than I should have, but I was just, I was I was feeling really good about it. So I kept going and then with the floor, I started experimenting with some corals and, uh, and a whole bunch of stuff. So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's take a quick peek at a room that I haven't, what's going on Overdrive? I think that's Wither Max, I, I, I think. <laughs> but uh, let's just take a quick peek and for those of you who are seeing some new names, by the way, <gasps> Snake, hi, you are in the whole crew. I didn't see you say hi. I'm so sorry I missed you. Um, hi, welcome. Um, so I started to, uh, we have a I started to uh, basically go into this next room and then I'm seeing a bunch of chat messages come through. So Emilio says, what is happening? A lot is happening today. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, if you notice, there are some new names on the server hanging out. Uh, these are some folks who actually uh, were runners up in our boss battle competition. So they are currently going through a couple of uh, a couple of challenges on the server. So hopefully everything continues to work on the server uh, while we're uh, <laughs> while we're doing some tests here. But here we go. Are you ready? Yeah! This is gonna be the boss room. <laughs> I have I have feelings about it. I have some really good feelings. I have some really, I have some really okay feelings. Um, it's, thank you, I see a lot of things. Wow, looks great. Uh, you'll see, I actually go through a bunch of my techniques. Um, like the ceiling was this whole thing. B 
because I didn't place each of these blocks by hand. I, I show it a lot in my video, but basically what I did was I filled the entire ceiling with leaves that could decay. And then I let them decay a certain amount and they'd be like 50% of them decay. And then I quickly replaced all of the leaves that were remaining with a block. And that's how I did, I, that way I didn't have to randomly place every single block because that would have taken forever. Um, so there's that. And then, uh, and then, you know, I started to play around with the walls and I'm s just, it's so hard with walls. Um, it's poor man's world edit. Yes, it is poor man's world edit for sure. Um, but I don't have world edit. <laughs> and you know what, to be fair, Bedrock players don't have world edit and a lot of Java players don't. So maybe uh, you can take some inspiration from this. But then I started to work on these little islands, these little corner sections that kind of stabilize stabilize like the platforms here and uh and then i i just love the way that these fully charged respawn anchors work and before anybody says anything i want you to know that i have thought about some people on this server who who will do things to blow up those respawn anchors so this is what i did just because i know there are people who are gonna sit down here and try to right click on these anchors <laughs> there are void, there are barrier blocks. You can't touch them. And I, and I even put them on the bottom because I know some people would try to fall off the edge and hit the bottom of the, the respawn anchor and blow up the whole platform. So yeah. Um, what will the platforms do, uh, Red Gamer? So I'll, I'll try to make my, world edit is great, destroyer of clock, I agree. I, uh, I, I, I'm not gonna do it. I don't wanna get spoiled by it. <laughs> um, but yes, water flow is the one that I'm trying to protect against. Uh, he tends to break stuff. Um, a lot of people saying they're super excited. Yeah, guys, I'm super excited for this boss. Um, this is gonna be super cool. So the towers are gonna be placed on all of these spots here. So we're gonna have a technique where players can put down like an armor stand of a certain type um, and that will place down a tower of a certain type. We'll work on those mechanics potentially today. Um, today's goal is we are going to actually build out four or five towers. Oh, you like the drippies? The drippy things. I didn't place any of those by hand either. You'll have to see in the video how I did it, but I didn't place any of those. Um, but yeah, so we're, I have four ideas for towers in mind. Oh man, the server's filling up. <laughs> I have four towers in mind um, and I want, you all to think about the fifth tower that we should do because i i have four if you have ever played tower defense games before now now i want you to think about this because i want it to be within reason but let's talk let's talk about the four towers that i have and uh <laughs> and, and we'll take a look at that yeah kurt uh igor says by the way your curse boss was so cool but a bit messy sometimes Hope your boss will be even better than that one, which was already cool. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, the curse boss, um, I, I feel like I, I really prioritize design and, and a couple of the mechanics. I really wish I did more with the room. Um, I think that's why my evil AI, AI boss did so well, was because of that. Um, I'm seeing here flame turret from Iad. Yep, that's a good one. Wouldn't throwing item, items on the ground look better than placing armor stands? Yeah, we could do that. Player heads, armor stance. Ooh, player heads is a great idea. Yep. We could totally, we could figure something out. Um, it does have to be an entity, so probably throwing an item is best. Uh, but I do like the idea of an armor stand because I think we could set the property on it to be placeable at a certain spot. We'll figure that, we'll figure that out. Um, <laughs> player of Minecraft asks in on the server. Yes, it does. It is very hard. Um, Avid, do you like AJR? I do not know what AJR is. You're gonna have to let me know. Um, but let's start talking about, cause I want you guys to help me come up with the fifth type of tower. And then here, just to give you an idea of where we are, here's the, here's our interdimensional tunnel. And uh, here, I'll show you another thing that's gonna show up in my video. Whoosh. It's a band. Here is the end of the tunnel. Whoa, woo -hoo. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty trippy. It's pretty trippy. Um, so that that's what's, what what's ha uh, what happens when you get to the end of this tunnel. And uh, for those who actually missed the last stream, let's just let's just show you guys what what you missed if you haven't seen it yet. So last stream, 
Um, I had an awesome commenter uh, by the name of Pie Guy. Uh, Pie Guy, you're here. Or if you're not, hey, thanks for the awesome the awesome comment. I give you a ton of credit in the video. But you said that the ephemeral platforms were kind of boring, and I agreed. I uh, I have bad luck too. Hold on a second. Let's just make sure everything's working. <laughs> I found a bug. Uh huh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, this is unfortunate. Oh, yeah. So you remember how I said I didn't place a single one of those drippy things? Well, I kind of used a technique uh, with uh, with item frames where it would place a drippy thing beneath an item frame, <laughs> and it appears to have a uh, have uh, destroyed our one of our functions here. Ouch is right. Lots of ouches uh, in the chat. So let's quickly fix that. It's super easy. Let's see here. I'm just gonna patch up. <laughs> you know, whenever you try to do something fun and you realize that you accidentally target every single item frame in like a 300 block radius and now you gotta find every item frame that you accidentally just annihilated, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's my problem. So, uh, so yeah, this is what we made last time. And uh, I can kind of fake it for now, just to show you guys. Let's see, I think we do that. The way is revealed. Cool, let's head back down there. I'll fake it for now. Cause I don't wanna, cause today, today I wanna stay focused. I don't usually, I'm not usually focused. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> uh, Lucas says, avid clones drippy in wrong place, but entire room command vanishes. Yes, that is, that is definitely what happened. Um, all right, here we go, here we go. Smallest violin. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yes, I'm sad. Uh, okay, here we go. I think my ambient sounds are off. Hold on a sec. It's better with the sounds. Hold on. Music and sounds. Yeah, let's get let's get those sounds up because we worked hard on those sounds too, everybody. Okay, here we go. Ephemeral platforms. This was last stream, and uh, I have figured out a pathway. That guarantees me success almost every time. Here we go. Now we stay, take the high route, right? I think Sky Knight suggested this in the last stream. They were like, yeah, take the high route. I'm like, oh, that makes so much more sense than going down. Woo, this is the hard one. Oh, let's pretend I survived. <laughs> I don't want to spend the whole day here. <laughs> hey, it's already like five minutes into the stream and I've already cheated everybody. But yeah. Oh. Again, second time. <laughs> cheat, cheat. Avid being bad at parkour. I'm the best at parkour. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, so basically, what I did off camera here, or on camera, you'll see it in the episode, is uh, is players that are gonna go into here. <laughs> Thirty seconds of regen. All right, I'll consider it. And then, bada bing, we get teleported over all the way over to the other side dimension, which right now is just a pocket dimension. If you guys have seen, uh, you know, my episodes, I'm talking about eventually taking this to a whole other level, whole other level, but, um, you know, as in like a custom dimension inside of a data pack. But for now, I want to kind of build out the pocket dimension and make it feel really good. I don't know how easy or hard it's going to be to translate this into a Minecraft dimension, but that is an idea. Um, what's going on, Rocky8? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, let's see, Wirt, Wirt, gosh, I always have trouble with your name. Wirt YW, that is so cool. Uh, also kind of random question, I saw in the boss's video, any idea how to do movements for a floating worm? No, everyone in my Discord is smarter than me. Ask them, <laughs> I really, I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, but okay, so we got some work to do today, guys. So we're gonna talk about the four towers that we're gonna build inside of our tower defense room, which is just right over here. Beautiful tower defense room. We are gonna talk about some of the some of the towers. And we gotta find a nice spot to get some work done. I've been doing a lot of work in my videos over on like this area. I mean, I keep clearing it, but so we'll do that. We'll get a bed so that way I don't have to cheat the day night cycle. <laughs> Player of MC needs regen. All right, effect give. Here you go. Uh, for mm, let's see, ten seconds. Amplifier. There we go. Oh, <laughs> we were too slow. Oh, well, there. Now it's fair. <laughs> oh man. 
Um, so who's the enemy in this battle? That is a fantastic question. I don't want to give away too much, uh, so I'm not gonna. But there is an enemy. We've talked about Nodak, you know, the dwarf. Maybe. Maybe he is. Maybe he's not. What is this map about? This, this adventure map is about a lot of things. It starts with two brothers who, uh, who were looking for a cure for an illness that had befallen their mother. And, uh, and so they were told by an old man on the street to go to these islands where the, there are these herbs on the two islands that would cure their mother. And so naturally they travel for miles and miles and miles and they get to these islands and they find out that the islands are irresistible and they forget why they even went there in the first place. And they stayed. They stayed for they stayed for eleven years. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot of lore uh, in my Discord. There's a there's a channel of lore. It's a lot though. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to give you guys too much. Um, <laughs> but but yeah. So you know these these. That's kind of the concept. Is you know these brothers were on these islands. They stayed. They were they started to hear voices in their head. The voice turned out to be our evil protagonist, antagonist, excuse me, the old one. And the old one is a bad guy on this server, very bad guy. Um, so, uh, yeah, I could, I could go on and on, there's so much. Really wide signboard. Well, we're gonna talk about four of the towers. Four of the towers that I have in mind for today. <laughs> what? Signs are, uh, Luca says avid, signs are built in the crafting table. Um, guys, I always start with these signboards, you know how I work. So we're gonna talk about four towers that we're gonna work on today. And I want you as a chat to uh, to come up with the fifth one for me. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, question Sky Knight, what's my lore channel? In the Discord, uh, there's a channel called Avid Lore and it is pages upon pages upon pages of lore. Uh, I have four towers, yes, that looks like five to me because I want you to come up with the fifth one. So the first tower is gonna be our generic our generic tower. And what do I mean by that? This tower is gonna be able to shoot some kind of projectile at monsters. It's gonna pick a monster, probably the closest one, do some damage. Super, super basic. But this is like, you know, kind of your very simple, your very simple tower. Um, Avid, did you mess with the game rules? Hmm, here and there. Why? Let me make sure something. I just want to make sure I did mess with uh, random tick speed a couple days ago. Let's just make sure that's still at the right one. It's not going to even be a snowball. Uh, it's not going to be a snowball, but that's the best way. That's the best way that I can describe it. So this is going to be like a range ranger, basic ranger turret. And there's going to be uh, there's going to be you know a little bit of uh, ray tracing we're going to do. It's going to be kind of cool, um, and it's going to be like this little kind of armor stand particle effect. Um, the next one that we're gonna do is, is pr I'm really excited for this. Um, it's going to be a slowness tower. Hang on a second. And I'm seeing all your comments, by the way. I will read them in a second. Let me get to, let me get through these and then we'll start talking about the other ones. So area of effect slowness tower. So around some area, monsters are going to get the slowness effect and that's gonna then help with the other towers in, in terms of doing damage to those monsters. So think about think about that, okay? The next one that I have is pretty cool, actually. Um, this one is called, hang on a second. This one's gonna be called the Lookout Tower. And this one's gonna be a little bit slower, but have a much lar longer range. And when it picks a target, it's going to uh, it's going to give that target a glowing effect and apply a a weakness to that target. So basically, it'll be, it'll act as an amplifier to all of the other attacks against that monster. Um, so yeah, kind of like a uh, it's like a support tower. Um, let's see. Igor says your cutscenes are always so cool. Thank you. I've been trying to get better at them too. <laughs> I've been trying to get better at them. Uh, let's see. Player of Minecraft is dying a lot in Copper Point. <laughs> uh, let me show you the fourth tower, and then you guys can tell me what you think. So, the fourth tower is going to 
is actually going to, uh, this is gonna be called the bomb tower. The fourth tower is going to actually use the mining arrow. So what does that really mean? So I'm gonna draw a very crude version of this tower. It's gonna be like a blob. And at the very top, just like in the section I just showed you guys, um, let's see, crying obsidian. There's gonna be a little nub at the top of this tower. And when you shoot it with a bow, it's gonna explode. And the tower, I don't want it to be single time use. It could be, it could be single time use. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I want it to explode. Maybe an insta kill, maybe just does a lot of damage, but it's kind of like player activated and there is a little bit of, um, there's a little bit of, I guess, strategy to where you place these towers. So I'm seeing some comments already. So let's see here. I'm going to look through some of the comments. Pick a monster. Are you planning on using a roughly one to six attack mob that has a UUID of UUID that damaged me turret or spawn a projectile? Calculate the motion by hand. Um, I'm probably going to go... If you're talking about drawing the actual projectile, Lucas, I'm probably going to use a very crude ray tracing scheme where you have an invisible armor stand that kind of uh, that can trace from an origin to a destination. I show this off in, I think, episode three of Avid Adventures. That's at least my thinking for the very first tower and potentially the lookout tower as well. Um, let's see here. So Destroyer of Clock says, I think there should be a track obstacle tower like the spike tower from balloons splits out like a magma blocks on the track. The monsters take damage when they walk over it. Ooh, that's a cool idea. Ooh, Waterflow says, hey, Waterflow, I didn't know you're here. Uh, a tower that shoots out lightning that ricochets between enemies. Mmm. Ooh. Um, hmm. Well, I'm, no worries. Thanks for stopping by anyways, Waterflow. Uh, I I like the idea of a lightning tower just because I, in my brain, I can figure out how I would do it potentially. It'd be a little tricky. Um, a wither skull turret. Can you explain a little bit of what you mean by that? Like how would that, how would that work? Um, I also see a wizard tower that shoots fireballs. I think fire or lightning would be really great to add to this. Hey, what's going on, Duvid? Welcome, welcome. Um, what's a good symbol for bomb? Probably TNT. TNT. Like this. This one is going to be determined by everybody. So, David, in case you, uh, you know, you're just, just catching you up here. So, we have four tower defense towers that we're going to build right now. Um, and chat is helping me figure out the very last tower. I like the idea of fire. I like the idea of lightning because we have, we are, we're going to have a, a, a chilling base tower already. So, I like the idea of fire. I just don't know how fire is different enough from the ranger turret. Let's see. A tower that shoots magic fireballs out from above that follow the player. Hmm. And, like, do they buff the player? What do you think about that? Um, okay, what else do we have? Elemental tower. So, Destroyer of Clock says maybe an elemental tower that you can change what it shoots between water, fire, lightning, etc. That sounds complicated. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I am trying to, uh, so all of the actual commands are going to live inside of the tower. That's the cool thing about it. So we're going to build these really pretty towers and I'm going to stuff the towers with enough of, uh, with enough commands to run themselves. So that's kind of, that's, that's my plan at least for now. So keep that in mind is it can't be too, too complicated. Um, fire would be like an explosion and we do technically already have a bomb tower. Ah, good question. How big are these going to be? Let's see. Let's see here. What? You can't... Hang on a second. <laughs> Just making sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. How big are these going to be? Let's take a look. Hey, that one hacker. Welcome. Of course I remember you. Of course I remember you. You've been like following me since like 20, 25 subscribers. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I believe... I don't even need to run down there. I, I know exactly how big they are. So... The way the platforms look right now, there's a little central piece, and then it is surrounded by, I don't know, I'll just use like, I use some deep slate. Three by three, but then there's a little extra space, so they're about this big. So we have this space to work with. And I think I could probably stack all of the commands I need 
right in the center. Maybe it's four or five or something like that. Let's see. Stunning Tower. It. I, I like... Okay, so I see one for Igor's that says Stunning Tower. I like the idea of a Stunning Tower. The only thing is it's not different enough from a, a Slowness Tower. So, like, what is something that would really add a new mechanic? Like, damage over time could be cool. We could light monsters on fire. Is that different enough from the bomb tower? Because I'm seeing a lot of responses here that say, hey, fires actually seems kind of cool. You know, fire seems kind of cool. Um, I like lightning towers. My only, my only reservation is just I would want to do a chain effect with them, and I do think that can get kind of complicated. Let me get a bed here again. Where did my bed go? Um, golems are cool, but I feel like that's a lot of cleanup. Laser, we do have a laser tower already, technically. Um, that's gonna be the very first tower over here on the left. It's just kind of like a basic ranger turret. A lightning tower that ricochets between towers. That could be cool, too. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Just because, just because I, uh, I want to start working on one of these, Let's, let's start working on the basic ranger turret first. And what we're going to do is actually do some design. Um, oh, something that has a 50-50 chance of actually helping, like, throwing mobs into the air. That's a cool idea, Sky Knight. That's a cool idea. Um, hmm. Okay. Hand that, one hacker says a hand that grabs you. Summoning tower. Ooh. Duvid! Okay, but wait. Okay, I heard Iron Golem before, so I don't want to say that that is the first time I saw that idea. So, hmm. But now that you say it, it's a cool idea. Okay, I'm going to chew on that. I'm going to chew on that. Fire, thunder. No, I, I, Destroyer, I already know. I already know you said it. Magic fireballs, we'll think about it. Fishing tower, we'll think about some ideas. But let's at least start, let's at least start with the basic ranger turret. And we're gonna come up with some designs first. So we, we need to kind of get back down stairs or we need to just think about the color palette. I don't think we need to go totally downstairs, but let's uh let's do that. And just to, just to uh, let's see, chat settings. Sorry, uh, those on the server. I'm gonna switch over to commands only just so it's not too much spam because there are gonna be a lot of commands. Um, healing tower. Oh man, you guys are all giving me such good ideas. Dang it. <laughs> Um, money, right? We haven't even talked about money. So, how are players going to buy towers? How are players going to place towers? Things like that. There is going to be this whole kind of currency system inside of this tower defense boss. So, let just, yeah, that is a cool idea, is that it's a tower that just sits there and generates money. I think that could work too. Maybe we have six towers, because generating money would be super, super basic. Um, so, I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. So this is the area that we have to work with. <laughs> All of these are just balloons towers. I agree, I agree. And why not base what, you know, what we want to do off of something that we know is well balanced and works? You know, think about that. Pretty cool idea. Balloons in Minecraft, kind of. Have, has, okay, here's, here's one. I, has anybody played the game Sanctum or Sanctum 2? That, I wanna hear it because this is how this is how this game is going to work is players if you know that game it's a tower defense game where players are inside of the tower stream inside of the monster stream and the players can also damage the mobs as they are making their way through the tower defense map so like it's going to be a combination of kind of like first person tower defense players have weapons players have health that they need to take care of it's gonna be pretty cool so it's gonna be more like sanctum than balloons um, so if you guys haven't seen Sanctum, uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll link something, something like that. But anyways, I want to start thinking about the designs for these towers. So let's kind of make ourselves a couple of, uh, a couple of spots here. Probably need, I need a bit of space. Why don't we, heck, you know what? Let's go build this downstairs. Let's just go, you know what? We need to, we need to stay inspired. I think we need to be in the room where it happened. <laughs> That's a Hamilton reference, if anybody gets that. <laughs> uh, let's let's do let's build it in here. Because it's gotta fit the theme. It's gotta fit it's gotta fit our boss room. 
And, uh, and just before we start, I'm gonna take a quick sip of a little coffee I have here. Mm-hmm. That's right, David, the room where it happens. Uh, question, will players be able to be hit by the towers? Hopefully not. Players should be immune to the tower, is my hope. Banger song, banger song, agreed. So I wanna start with the most basic tower, the most basic one, which is gonna be just a tower that does basic range damage. You, water flow, you came a little late, my friend. It's impossible for you to click those anchors. <laughs> Look at this. I thought of you, even underneath. You're not gonna touch them. <laughs> There's no way. No way. And glowstone, no. You can't charge these either. I, I delete all the glowstone from your inventory. All right. So let's let's build the first one. All right? Let's take a look at... Let's, this is a nice spot right here. <laughs> I thought about you, Waterflow, when I was doing this one. Uh, one hacker says teleportation tower. Let's think about it. Let's think about it for a little bit. So what I'm thinking is, you know, players are going to put some kind of item in the center of this platform, and that's going to spawn in a structure block. The structure block is then going to be powered with redstone. That's going to summon in this tower, and then the tower is going to have all of the commands that it needs inside of it to do the work that it needs to do. Now, the question is, based on the color palette of this room, what do you think, what do you think we should design these towers out of? Calcite, amethyst, ooh, like a white, like the towers could be white juxtaposed against the dark background. I like that idea. I like the idea of using white because I want it, I want them to be very distinct from the islands. Endstone, endstone could be cool though it might clash. Let's let's take a look at some of these things. Last time we did this together, we came up with an awesome color palette. Let's take a look at some of these things. Ooh, endstone is kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little, little busy, a little busy though. Um, Crimson, I, I think I'm trying to stay away from making this dimension look too much like the nether. So just trying to, tr yeah, trying to make that distinction. Um, let's see, Sky Knight says, maybe putting symbols on the walls to signify what they are. Uh, signify what, uh, what what is, what the towers are? Cause that could be a cool idea. I think also visually they're going to be very different. Um, so so yeah, that hopefully is it. I see a, 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 somebody says stream dying, um, at least not on my end. I have excellent, it looks like excellent connection, not dropping any frames. Um, could be on your side. Purper's cool. Water flow, we'll see ya. Bye, friend. Um, warp, skulk, purple concrete. Let's play around with some light blocks. Let's play around with some light blocks. So, we have diorite. Mm, not gonna really touch that. Uh, we have, we have quartz. We, tr we play around with some of that. Just to see. I think, I think endstone's a little too yellow for me in this case. But like, you know, it's like the forces of good against the forces of evil. Birch, maybe. The only thing is it, it does look kind of woody. It's interesting. I'm thinking about it. Iron blocks, maybe. Use stripped warped oak. Stripped warped oak? <laughs> stripped warped blocks. Maybe. I just, the only thing is I don't know if I want it to be blue. Um, hey, funny bee. Uh, let's see. Let's try. All right, I'll take a look at birch. I'll take some, I'll, I'll. It's cool. It's cool. I, I'm feeling more like bricks of stuff um, is the only thing because these are like towers. These are like mini, these are like mini towers. So let's see if I, if there's anything that really feels good when we look at bricks. Prismarine could be kind of neat. Let's try, let's just take some peeks here. Um, stripped warped good, uh, stripped warped good. Stripped warped wood is good, I agree. And I feel like these are kind of looking, I don't know. This one looks a bit too much like Cloud's Rest to me. Like I'm starting to feel like a Greek theme, but I, and, and the contrast is almost too much. Do you guys feel that? Oh, falling. You feel like, I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong, but like, if I just made a tower out of Deep Slate, that might look good too. Greek temple vibe, you know, I could, um, but I'm trying to think of, you know, why would a Greek temple vibe fit this area? And I'm not sure. Prismarine could be cool. I see from expired. Um, hmm. Deep Slate bricks. Let's try some Deep Slate because we do have it around. And funny enough, Deep Slate is, you know, really associated with dark, 
dark, you know, builds, but Deep Slate actually is a color that brightens up this build. That's what I've done with this whole pathway. So, so let's try that. Copper could be cool, though I don't know if it fits the theme. Let's try some Deep Slate and take a look at, see, see how it feels, you know? There's no, there's no real, no real right or wrong here. But if we put a little bit of Deep Slate down, it, it does, it does look nice. That's a nice palette. That's a very nice palette. I think the, the three there. Um, let's see. They can also be uh, siege weapons, not only towers. That is true. That is true. I'm seeing oxidized copper could be nice. We could play around with that. We could play around with that. Um, I do love, I do love this. This is like a beautiful block sandwich. I love it. Um, Destroyer of Clock says I'm going to design something and send it over Discord. Cool. I'll take a look at that. Oxidized copper is cool. All right, all right, let's try it out. All right, I see a lot of copper. I see a lot of copper. And last time we built something, you guys were right. <laughs> hmm. It's just the only thing is it's so similar to the warped, to the warped colors that I, I like it. I like it, but it, I don't want it to look like the islands. I want these to be very, very visually distinct in terms of color. Skulk could work. Skulk, at least what I'm doing right now is I'm using it to kind of blend into the background. Um, let's try some sandstone. We'll, we'll, we'll play around with that too. Play around with that. Partially oxidized copper. Again, I don't know. Yeah, dark prismarine is kind of the same color. Ooh, I'm already liking the contrast that we're getting from this. I'm just worried that's a lot of blocks. Whoa! Is that feeling good to you guys? Like, obviously there's a lot of work that would need to happen around this color. But it's not a color that we use anywhere else. It feels... It, it feels... It feels cool. I don't know. Igor says, I don't feel it that well. Let me let me play around with something here. Let me play around with that. Um, stare. Let's see. One hacker says, you want to play Bed Wars? Hacker, I would love to at some point, but, uh, but probably not today unless you're asking somebody else in the chat. Um, if anyone in the chat wants to play Bed Wars with Hacker, uh, by all means. Um, let's see. It feels off with the Deep Slate. It is weird. It is, it, it stands out. It definitely, it definitely stands out, but it is, it is, uh, it is definitely different. <laughs> yeah. Fire res. Are you trying to cheat copper point there, player Minecraft? All right, I'll give you fire res. Let's see. Uh, fire. Where is it? Oh, give, doy, uh, effect. I always do that. How many How many other people get stuck doing that? Player of Minecraft, fire resistance. There you go. It's broken. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, so, so this is cool, but I'm just like, yeah. Crying Obsidian, we do have that in quite a few places, and I think we could use that. Um... Tricky says, I assume since this won't be a VOD, uh, this will be a VOD. I, all of my, uh, all of my streams actually get posted to my second channel, Avid Mick Jr., Avid MC Jr. Um, let's see. So yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, Shaxon says the sandstone structure feels different. I feel like yellow might be the way to go. If you're looking for something that dramatically counters the dark atmosphere. Hmm. I think you're right. I think, yeah. If you lean into the alien vibe, maybe these are like organic growths. It's almost like, um, picture this like fighting against the alien vibe. So, uh, you know, we're trying to create like these maybe very, very man-made structures. Very man-made. I mean, it's man-made or it's not. Man-made structures that kind of are fighting against the evil monsters that are pouring through these, these walls. And that's why I was like, huh, bricks could be cool, but I do want it to really stand out. Let me just, uh, let me just pl play around with a couple things because... Just because we want it to stand out doesn't mean that all of it has to stand out. And and hear me out on this one. Just hear me out on this one, because my brain my brain is kind of is kind of telling me something. And and we'll just we'll just play around. Th remember, this is just the base, so we have they have quite a bit of work. We have quite a bit of work to uh, actually make this thing look good. 
But hang on a second. Doot, doot. Just place a couple of these stairs down, kind of in a random pattern. Place a couple of cobblestone down. Hold on a second. And then maybe we have some deep slate walls in here. Hold on. That we will change out. Yes. Something's happening. Something's happening. And then, uh, let's see. Like, there are accents. It, this isn't exactly it either. But we're starting to get there. Where it's like... It, it is. It's very much a good versus evil. I'm seeing some comments in there. Yeah, like that's the idea. Sort of. It's almost like uh, dwarven versus evil. Right? Because if you guys remember the story here is there's going to be a dwarf that came down here to destroy the orb. Which is going to be right here. This is where the orb is going to be. And, uh, and so... If we can kind of make these towers, I don't like this. I want to kind of bring it all the way up on all sides. It's supposed to be gamified too. So the feeling of it is kind of, kind of gamey. Oh yeah. And then hang on. Let's try something. Let's just play around. Oop. And then we'll light it up a little bit too. Give it a little bit of, a little bit of brightness. You guys feeling me right now with this? You see? You see what I'm getting at? Like, it looks like it has energy, like, kind of kind of pouring up from the bottom. And then we'll, we'll figure out the cap and how to, how to make it look a little bit more like a tower. For those who are just joining, by the way, I'm seeing we're having some new people here. Uh, Zach, Zach the Beast. Yo, I just got here. This room looks awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's going to be in my episode 12, so definitely check that out. Um, that tower's feeling good everybody yeah accent in the bottom corner maybe we'll play with that the only thing is the corners are chewed out so we have to think about that or you're saying an accent down in this bottom corner i'll uh, i'll look for your next comment make dark stairs at the bottom of the tower upside down hmm let's give that a shot that kind of looks neat gives some kind of visual variety let's take let's try all of them and then see how it looks i like that idea i like try i like playing around with that Looks a little funky. It's a little, like, less like a tower and more like a, uh... I don't even know what to think of that one. Yeah. That one, Hacker, says, I'm doing my homework while watching this. Good. Do you have any questions on your homework? Uh, uh maybe I can help. Is it math? If it's English, I can't help. <laughs> um, Igor says, random question, but do you already have an idea to integrate the main boss? I have lots of ideas. Um, yes. And I don't want to spoil too much. I don't want to spoil too much. Um, so, so yeah, that's just something I don't, you'll see. We'll see, you'll see it in the video. But today, we're just gonna build some towers, um, and we'll eventually we'll eventually talk about that. A lot of people are uh, trying to swim in, swim in lava on this server, by the way. Um, let's see, let's see. Ooh, you know how like whenever you accidentally place a block and then you realize that's exactly what it needed. Let's get let's get a bit of light in here. Um, I love these frog lights, guys. These are like the coolest. These are legitimately some of the coolest lighting blocks in the in the game now. I use them all over the place, and I just love how they add such a cool vibe. Um, let's see. Qu okay, let's see. Uh, idea. Main boss is the god of this dimension. <laughs> I, if I were, if I were as talented as uh, some of the people in my Discord for making bosses, maybe I could do that. I, I feel like I wouldn't be able to do the god of this dimension justice. But we could try. Look at that little subtle frog light thing that kind of pokes through. I think that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Um, Shroom Light is greater than Frog Light, Destroyer Clock says. I, I agree completely, completely. Uh, but I don't know if my favorite lighting, though, is probably uh, the lant Sea Lanterns. These are also very cool. And they're very close. They're not that different. And I love the little, like, bubbly, booba bubble bubble in the middle there. Yeah, I agree. Looks super good with the Frog Lights. Now, what is going to cap this off because i don't want these towers to be too tall 
I think that's probably the right height. Glowstone best Lucas. Glowstone? Glowstone? What what can you use glowstone in? I mean, oh, that is a gnarly looking block. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I guess you can get a lot of it in survival. So, so by the way, all of the commands to run this tower are gonna have to live in this little section. So we're gonna get one repeat command block. Lucas is not banned. <laughs> respect, I respect everybody. If I'm sure there are ways to make it look cool. Um, but uh, yeah, all the commands are gonna be in there. Um, let's see. Tricky says, I think when you have the floor the same color as the frog lights, it looks like it shines that color. I agree. There's so much you can do. Yeah, polished glowstone would look so cool, yeah. All right, what's the roof of this bad boy? Hmm, doesn't have to be too different. You know, I mean, we don't want this to be too, too different, but I kind of want the, the roof to pull in some more of those purples again. The dark, deep, the deep purples. Um, so let's... I think, I think, but, but I, but it needs to connect. It needs to connect with the bottom. Um, uh, medieval, spiky. Yep. That's how I'm feeling as well. Kind of that idea, but I want the, the top of it to kind of look like the bottom of it a little bit. This is how I start. You know, it's like whenever you're trying to put together a build, you're just like, what are the, what are the things that I know for certain I want to do? Oh, yeah. It's weird right now. I promise it's going to come together. But yeah, it's weird. It's weird right now. Um, watch a B-dubs tutorial. I watch every B-dubs tutorial. B-dubs, super big. My inspiration list for builders probably goes B-dubs, Pearlescent Moon, Scar, Grian. In no particular order. But yes. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah, this is looking already really, really good, you guys. Um, I'm wondering though if maybe now I don't think I can make these upside down and have them connect nicely can I what can I do here what can I do here guys because I feel like that these should be upside down do you guys feel the same with me there like like this the roof should be a bit less flat yes it will be I promise I'm just kind of starting like the overhang of the roof just starting the overhang of it Trap door, trap door. I like that thinking. Yeah, and that gives us an opportunity to add a splash of color. The question is maybe we do a little bit of, ah, uh, they're see-through though. Hmm. All right, hang on a second. What trap door? <laughs> Spruce is, is not, I'm not gonna do the chocolate bar. I refuse, birch. Could look pretty good here, even if Birch, even if people have feelings about Birch. Uh, Green's season seven mega base is insane. I agree completely. It is, it is so insane. Uh, if only he'd finish the back. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are people feeling about this? Hold on. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Birch is the only good-looking trapdoor with Birch. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to agree with you here. I'm starting to agree. I don't want it to stand out too much. Yeah, I hear no. I hear no, and I hear oh. Doofit's like oh, and then the one hacker's like no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That looks really good. That looks super good. I like it. No, I like it. They look like windows. They do. And I, and my problem, my biggest problem was the holes. Um, it wasn't covering up enough for me. So that, that was my one problem with that. It really does, you need some red. Hmm. You think it needs some red. Red bad. We don't have a lot of red in this room. Hmm. I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chew on that for a second. I'm gonna chew on that. Uh, let's see. Now the frog lights aren't exposed enough true, but I do like the subtlety of it. Okay, let me try something else for a second. Let me just see... Let me just see if maybe the trapdoor idea is not necessarily the right way to go. Like, what if... Hmm... Hmm, hmm, hmm... It's tricky, you guys, because when you go straight from a... Oh, I got it. It's the problem. The problem is we're trying to go straight from... 
a wall to a stair. And so you're going to naturally, you're always going to have that gap. But if we go frog lights on the corners there, now that's looking a little better. What do you guys think about that, huh? Yeah, it makes a little more sense, doesn't it? Hold on. I'm going to play around with some stuff here. Let's see how it looks. There's a lot of people uh, dying in the chat, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what the heck is happening. Hmm. Okay, let's experiment with a couple of roof designs. Experiment with a couple of roof designs here. So I've heard, yeah, we need some red. <laughs> Destroyer of clocks is disgusting. I have a feeling. I have a couple feelings. Um, one is I feel like the frog lights are starting to kind of overpower everything. And so if I just plonk in, like, I like the idea of the frog lights just showing through just enough. And I think that looks so much better already. Like, there's a subtlety to it. Um, Tricky, are they doing the copper adventure? I think so. Avid, I need res. Zoe killed me. <laughs> Zoe. <laughs> Zoe kill. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Player, I, I, was, I gotta, let me finish this tower and then I'll come help you. <laughs> um, put frog lights on the middle. Because part of my brain right now is like, okay, let's start building this roof up. And what I want to do to build this roof up is I kind of want to have like a plus pattern. Where it looks something like... Where it looks something like this. Hold on a second. Zoe, are you harassing members of the server? Murdering fellow, fellow Shrouded Isles members? Oh, well, that's a little funky looking. <laughs> that looks a little funky. Don't, Zoe says, don't give him res. I have no idea even where he is. It's so close. I think we're getting there. This is weird. I don't like a single. This is like, what happened to his head? Uh, Zoe, I cannot give you OP. OP. <laughs> um, hmm. It's almost there though. I feel like the, the cap is a bit too dramatic. Yeah, I think if we just go straight up like this, that might be a slightly better angle. And then, hold on, hold on. We're gonna stick with the frog light theme and do something like this, where that is where our little beam is gonna come out of. It's almost there. I wanna make the roof a little bit more interesting, but I think what's really cool about this light, or this light, it looks like a light, doesn't it? Um, this tower really stands out against this alien dimension because this is like the, this is like humanity fighting against the aliens. And so these are like these, you know, really futuristic towers. Red dust, what's wrong with you too? <laughs> Everyone is dying apparently on the server. It's getting there. Yeah, I agree, it's getting there. Um, Let's see, fill in a couple more of these. The roof could have some pretty neat colors. Actually, let's do a slab there. Yeah, we're gonna do... Let's, let's play around with a couple of slab options. Just to see. Too much contrast with the full deep slate roof. Yeah, I think we wanna... There's an option. We'll just, we'll just kind of take a look at a couple options. There's an option. There's an option. Hmm. Ooh. You know why I really like this one? The red is cool. I think... I think... I think I have an idea. Um, so, what I what I really like right now is I, I think there needs to be some contrast. But, I think... I think if I change this roof out for Blackstone, I think we're gonna get that without it looking too weird. Like all of it. Let's try. Or not all of it, but maybe just the plus in the center. Bear with me. Bear with me. Uh-huh. And then maybe we swap out some of the uh, some of the bricks. Because what the black stone's gonna do is it's gonna bring together the purple from down below, and it's not just gonna look like, look like one giant deep slate blob. Let's see. Hold on. 
I'll swap out some of the colors to add some texture in a second. But I actually, I think we're getting close. All right, let's see. Let's see what you guys think. It's looking a little villainous. Hmm. I could see that. I missed replacing a block. Destroyer of Clock says, I did? Which one? Are you sure? Maybe this one at the top? Um, let's see. What are what are my thoughts on it? My thoughts are... Uh, it's gonna fire from the tip top. This little thing up here. Pew pew! This is gonna fire down on the nearest zombie that it can find. Personally, looks a bit too evil. Blackstone doesn't fit in with the good guys. I agree. I, I, think, I, I think this has shown me that I want the roof to be a different color. But I don't think I don't think purple's right. I think we go lighter. So let's take a quick look at some stairs. I think the shape is good. But let's play around with some stairs and see what we like. Let's see. I should probably fill the interior of this just so it's not being a pain. You won't even see any of this anyways. What do you guys think about like a sandstone or some kind of lighter lighter colored Probably the brightest colors up there. Yeah, you're right. Like, that's where the... It might not be sandstone, but it could be something that is light like this. Let's let's swap some things out. And see, see what it looks like. Quartz. Quartz might work, but I don't think it would go with the rest of it. Avid, please... Okay. There we go. <laughs> that needs curve. Yeah, we could work on that. We could work on that. Endstone bricks. Let's take a look at that. Endstone bricks almost have like a green to them, don't they? It could look a little funky for this area. And I'm not sure if it fits with the rest of the base. They're a little green is my only problem. I think. What do you guys think? What are some other light colored stairs? Smooth sandstone, birch. I don't want to use like a wood too much. I think it's really going to be, I think it's going to come down to sandstone. Yeah, blackstone on the outside, sandstone in the middle. Let's give it a shot. Or maybe even we alternate. Like, uh, what, I, what do I mean by that? So, because it, instead of it looking like one... Instead of it looking like one color, what if we did... All right, I'll give it a shot. I will give that a shot. And then we got to make it work. Don't forget that. <laughs> There's some work with uh, some a lot of work left to do, but I I always I'm a design person too, you know. So like it's got to look pretty. That's that's so it's so important that things look good. Pattern sandstone. Oh yeah, let's try that. I already like. By the way, I already like how it's looking. I I really already like how that those touches of sandstone right there. They look so good. And then we go with da doink da doink. Do two here, two here. Hmm. Getting some ooze. Getting some ooze. I agree. I think it's a bit mush. Let's see. But if we tone it back a little bit, and I'm going to remove some of that black, uh, or all of that black stone. Um, let me do that now. These could be full blocks, and I think it would look better. Ooh. Almost. Hold on. I'm just feeling some things around. I'm feeling through some things. Yes. Red sandstone, huh? All right, let's take a look. Let's try it out. Some chiseled red sandstone. Player of MC, how may I help you? Please, I am in, I cannot, I cannot at this moment. Um, what do you guys think of red here? Yeah, more curve on the top. I think we might be able to do that. Could probably do that. I'm trying to think about that. People say red bad. Has a nice vibe. I like it as long as it's not too much. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about it. Wow, Destroyer, you have a really strong feeling. 
Uh, and Duvid, whose idea it was, says the red should be darker. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it at this for now, and it, nothing's ever final. But I think what we need to do is we need to start. We need to start on the actual mechanics of it. Um, let me do the smooth sandstone at the top though. And I think there's enough going on here where I can I can probably tweak this in any way. But for now, I think that's a pretty that's a fairly cool looking tower. I think it's fairly cool. I think it's fairly cool. Um so so yeah. See ya, Ead. Thanks for stopping by. Uh let's see. Munch says I put a picture of my idea in the Discord creations tab. Okay, let me uh let me check. I am feeling this tower, but I what I think here, I'll just back up so you guys can all take a good look at it. And then I'll take a quick look at my Discord just to make sure. Because I'm, I'm also going to take design ideas. Uh, let's see. Hey, Prismarine. Um, I, I will also take design ideas for the other towers, too. Ooh, that's an interesting top. That's kind of cool. I'll consider that. I will consider that top. I think it looks pretty good, though. Um, player Minecraft, how may I help you? Do I need to just kill? Let's just do that. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Um, and I think, okay, one more thing. I did get a comment that said, make it rounder. And I think I can do that. So let's just do that really quickly. And then that's it. I'm not going to touch it anymore for a little bit. Um, and how am I going to do that? I think what we're going to do is we're going to turn these into slabs. And then make this the, the yellow frog light. And just basically kind of... Do something like this. And then put an end rod at the top. And an end rod looks like a little blaster. So I think that's perfect. So now we need to come up with the actual mechanics of this tower. Yeah, I'll, I'll think about this. I think it looks pretty good. I have no idea what these... Should we... Chat, should we check on what, what everybody is... Why everybody is dying really quickly? Or do you want to keep going on the tower? <laughs> I'll let chat decide. I'm gonna get a little sip of water. I see yes. And I see Destroyer of Clock also having some interest. Check on them. Okay, let's go help them out. Let's go see what's going on. What? What? Oh. What? What is. Oh, there's fire everywhere! <laughs> This is madness! How is there fire everywhere? What happened here, guys? What? How did they- there must- they must be using the blazes to set fire to everything? <laughs> there shouldn't be all this fire everywhere. This is madness! <laughs> I mean, I can't control PvP. This would be like... You know, I, I'm the dungeon master here. It's it would be like a god intervening with with society. That just feels wrong. The blazes did that. Avid, it's broken. What's broken? Oh my gosh, there's literally fire everywhere. This is unbelievable. What happened here? Okay, I'll just make sure. Is it broken? The copper isn't for you. Be gone. The fourth one. You broke the first pipe, and I'm angry. Uh, I will check on that. Um, let's see. Destroy pipe three, who dares disturb the copper? That looks fine, so far. How's it broken? Well, the second player steps on that pressure plate to enter the room, the whole room resets. So hopefully that doesn't happen because, let's see, pipe four. I warn you, the copper isn't what it seems. Elias is not on the copper throne. <gasps> Somebody did break it. So they've been stuck in here. My, my first quest is broken. Okay. Well, let me uh, let me get rid of some more of this fire and then we'll go figure it out really quickly. And then we got to get back to towers. No, look at the entrance. Okay. What's wrong with the entrance? I don't see anything wrong with the entrance. Anybody see anything wrong? It was all a ploy to each one. The entrance to each one. Oh, like there's fire. Here. Yeah, that's probably bad. Okay. I understand that. That's definitely a problem. Uh-huh. I have no idea what the... 
I will fix this, but I don't see anything wrong. Did I fix it, player? To each one, to each vent. Vent. I'm I'm stumped. If one person dies and goes back in, the whole game resets. Yes, that's correct. That is correct. <laughs> the fourth one. Okay, the fourth one here. Oh, I see, it's on fire. I understand. How did everything get on fire? Let me just make sure that the fire tick is off. Because there should not be uh, game mode. Game rule, and then hopefully this helps them out. Fi uh, do fire tick false. There should not be a fire tick on. This is weird, guys. What on earth is happening here? How is all of this random stuff on fire? I mean, I get that blazes start fires, but I didn't think like regular blocks. Maybe they can. Okay. I think I fixed your problem. Let's teleport back. Let me just get my coordinates. Oh, you know what? We can fly there. It's not far from here. Let's fly there. If the server can handle it, that is. Ebonglade is quite close to Copper Point. It is over in this direction, over this beautiful little uh, warm ocean. And we're just going to plonk down through, and we'll eventually start to see. Here's our stuff. And we're back. Super easy. Oh, that tower looks good. That was actually nice to take a little bit of a break. It was actually nice. Um, Duvid says because fire tick is off, the fire basically stays forever. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, I think you're right. Uh, Shaxon says, you were building the world while other people were playing it. Yeah, that's kind of the whole point of this, uh, this server, this, this adventure map, um, everything is, this is an SMP server that I started, uh, about a year and a half ago to, uh, to entertain my friends because I feel like Minecraft doesn't really have that good of an end game. Um, the end dragon, you know, everyone quits after you beat the end dragon. So I started to come up with adventures for my friends and that's where this whole series came about is adventure maps, making adventures, and uh, and doing it all live. We do it live. Um, okay, so the next thing that will happen is there's gonna be an armor stand on top of this. It's gonna be invisible, and it might even be down a little bit, a little bit, so. Um, and, and this is where the particle I put in quotes, is going to originate. Um, Munch says, you're good at live streams, Avid. Thank you, I'm very new to them. And uh, and I make, I, I forget to go live sometimes. <laughs> so thank you. Um, so let's start working on this particle mechanic. And we're gonna talk a little bit about how, how we do what I call ray tracing. Some of you who have uh, probably done ray tracing in data packs, it's not the same thing. Um, your, your ray tracing is probably much more efficient than my ray tracing. But what we're going to do is we are going to do our absolute best to create a particle beam from one location, from this location here, down to some other entity. And we'll say, we'll pretend that this armor stand is one of the monsters for now. So, um, we are going to get a name, we're going to get some name tags so we can name these guys. We'll use names for now. Eventually I'll probably do something a little bit smarter. Um, but uh, let's see. Actually, I need to get my I need to get my command bar on here. This one, and then get rid of some of these things. Avid PVP zo, so they stop. <laughs> um, killing me, Zoe. You gotta you gotta give him a break for a minute. Uh, Sky says hello. Just here to say that I'm not watching because spoilers. There will be some spoilers. There will be some. Uh, that one hacker, add me to the server, please. So I'll tell you this. Um, people who have been added to the server, they were added because they they were runner-ups in the boss contest. And uh, it's a temporary ad for uh, for most of those people. Um, uh, see you, Sky. So, so just keep that in mind, is, uh, is that they, they entered a contest and they, they did really, really well, so that's why they have uh, temporary access to the server. Others are, uh, are patrons um, or people who I have known for a while who have just been playing on the server with me. So right now it's, it's a closed server, but um, whenever we have contests, uh, like the boss battle contest, that is a way to get a golden ticket to play on the server. So how do we make a particle beam that's th gonna fly down from this guy, 
and it's going to try to track with that armor stand. There's lots of ways that we can do this. And it really involves, um, Duvid asks, wait, do you get access for being a patron? Um, so my plan is with, with this server is if I can reach a certain milestone on Patreon, that would be enough to pay for me to spin up a clone of this server that would be specifically for patrons. Um, and so, so once I reach that, uh, once I reach that goal, I will set up a clone. Right now, th there were a couple of very early patrons who were granted access. Um, well, actually, there was one patron, Zoe, who went all the way to the adventure tier, which is just unbelievable. Um, but uh, but I, I would like to make it a more official thing. I'm still trying to kind of work those details out. Um, but that's the idea, is if I hit a certain milestone on Patreon, um, I'll spin up a clone of the server, and then I'll just try to update it as much as possible. I don't really know how I would do that without wiping progress, so do keep that in mind as it will be kind of a, a, a freeze in time. Um, but okay, so before we get too distracted, which tends to happen, um, let's see, Anvil. Do, 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 do. Amazing content. Thanks, Zoe. Are you murdering people on my server? <laughs> are you are, are you being nice? <laughs> So we're gonna call this one uh, Tower for now. This is all gonna be relatively temporary, but it's gonna get the idea across. Here we go. Tower Stand. Now it has the name. The next one is going to be Fake Enemy. Like this. And then the last one is going to be Tower Beam. Like that. And basically what we're going to do is we are going to name all three of these. So we have tower stand already named. I'm just going to hit it one more time just because. We're going to have fake enemy over here, which eventually we're going to use probably a predicate just to figure out what is the enemy. And then we're going to have here tower beam. Um, one hacker says, use the execute command, anchored at the feet, armor stand, use TP until it reaches the other armor stand, use particle command, also anchored at the feet. Yep, we're going to do something like that. So the first thing is let's make our little beam. You guys know that I love, uh, I love playing with particles. So what should our, what particle should our beam be made out of? Chat, let's, let's hear it. I think I have some ideas. They're probably not going to be as good as yours. So let me know. Um, Munch says, will you be able to play this adventure in co-op? This adventure is designed to be co-op. There is a dungeon that is specifically uh, two-person, two-player. Warden Sonic Boom, probably a bit too much. Um, probably a bit probably a bit overkill. Like, here's what I'm thinking, and, you, and we can see how this goes. Let's see. Execute as any entity. Be careful with this command. Always set a distance or you're going to be really sad. Distance of 100 where the type is armor stand. Do I really have to do this? Uh, probably just to narrow that down. Name is going to be tower beam. Okay. That's the first part. Execute as, and then we're going to say at itself run particle. And what particle are we going to do? Hmm, let's see. Oh God, uh, Wardic Sonic, Warden Sonic Boom. Avid, we are stuck. Oh gosh, this is the the. <laughs> Hang on a second. Let's try with crit for a second, and see how that looks. Um, let's see. Tower Beam. Did I name you ta ah, Tower Space Beam? Which means we need to now put this in quotes. There we go, hopefully that helps them. And it's at their feet. Oh my gosh, guys, are we about to do an anchored at the eyes, which I never use? Oh my gosh, is this possible? How do you do it though? At S anchored eyes? Does that, that's not how it works. I'm gonna help player of Minecraft out. Player of Minecraft 240.90. There, got them out of there. <laughs> yeah, so it starts at their feet. 
It's so weird. I really don't understand how anchored works. If anybody in the in the chat is knows, because basically what I'll do instead is I'll just say at s, um, and then you can say positioned now, and now you're relative to where the command is being executed, so you can just bump it up one. Anchored eyes and that that interesting. Yeah, anchored is weird. Anchored is super weird. But here, so this remember this guy's gonna be invisible. We can even put it kind of at like the top of his head if we want. So we could do two. That as a position. I'll try it. Positioned here. Position there. Anchored eyes. Okay, at S anchored eyes positioned there. Does it work? It does work. Look at that. Guys, it's the first time I have ever used anchored at the eyes and actually has something work. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, okay. So this is kind of a spark could be a cool particle. It, yeah, I'm using electric spark, I think. I think so. Yep, part of, oh, Minecraft crit. Okay, we'll do spark. It's basically the same thing. And it'll look better once it's moving. So let's just leave that as it is. And we'll start working on, uh, we'll give it a little more, maybe a little more juice. Um, let's see, one, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Just make it kind of beef it up a little bit at the position that is currently running. And we'll do like three of them. And that should give us a, f did I, what I do? Three, three. Did I mess something up again? This one's the, how much it fills, how much space it fills. I'll try one, one, one. I don't, I think that's gonna make it too big. What did I do? <laughs> Gosh, I love troubleshooting. I'll stick, I'll stick with what I had. I'm sure I did something silly there, but okay. So that's gonna be the particle. And now we want it to go between these two. So the first thing that we wanna do is we want this armor stand to always face the destination. Ah, three for speed. Thank you, I forgot to do count. Yep, that's right. I'll fix that in a sec. So we want this armor stand, which is the beam, to always face its destination, which is going to be the monster. So in order to do that, we're gonna have a repeat command block. We're just gonna copy this one very conveniently. Here, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, at where we are. Actually, I think I have to do this, don't I? Doop, doop, doop. Speed one, count three. There it is. Once this guy's invisible, then it'll look a lot better. Um, but I don't want to make him invisible yet because I like to see where they're uh, where they're facing. Okay, so now what we do is we are going to teleport. So execute as that armor stand at that armor stand. We're going to run, teleport, self, and we are going to uh, teleport self wherever self is facing. This is where things get kind of cool. So we're basically saying here, oh, if I, I have to make sure this doesn't run. So this is what's gonna happen is if I ran that command, this thing is just gonna go off into infinity in that direction, right? So what we want to do is we wanna then take that idea of where we execute at, we teleport, and then we wanna make sure that it is facing an entity. You notice it's not filling out for me. So like we're like in uncharted territory right now. Facing entity. Now, what are we facing? We are going to be facing a similar selector over here. This is where things get kind of cool. So we're facing, we're gonna face an armor stand within a distance of 100, that's probably too much now. We'll say a distance of 15. We are then, It's instead of being tower, it's going to be fake enemy. Is that what we called it? I hope I still have my name tag. Tower beam, fake enemy. Oh, is that driving anyone nuts that I put a space in that one? Cause that would drive me nuts. I see your comment by the way, Lucas. Um, I'll fix that in a second. Enemy. Now here's the problem is Minecraft is gonna be mad at this point. Minecraft's gonna be mad. So we have enemy. Now the problem is because it can't face more than one entity. So we're gonna sort and it's still mad because we need to say limit one. 
and now it's fine. But isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? It doesn't help you at all there. Look at that. It's happy. It just turned towards that entity over there. We're making a particle beam. We're making a particle beam, right? So, the next thing that happens is we want to make sure that it is lunging forward. I think it's this one? Is it this one? Yes! <laughs> We did it! We did it! Sorry, player of Minecraft. It's hard to uh, hard to multitask. I can't uh, I can't help you guys out, but because I, I got to get these towers working. But I will help you uh, next time you're on. Um, so so this guy is basically now going to hang out here. So we we have successfully created a, a particle beam. Let me let me just. All right, settle down there, bud. Now this particle beam here, it's trying to. Yeah, are you ready? Let's make let's make these armor stands fight. That hey, did you hear that that other armor stand said said something about your about your mother? What? Did he? Hang on a second. Did, hey, did I? But I did I? <laughs> there, go. It was too far away. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean you said something? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so funny. Okay. So the next thing that needs to happen, and my guess is probably that 15 is uh, is too small there. So we'll do like 30 for now. So then what should happen? Yeah, there it goes. There it goes like that. Player of Minecraft stole the church book. I'll just have to make another one. So now what happens is we got that, we got our particle beam at the destination, but now we need to get it back up to the source. Because what happens is the particle goes doop down here, attacks the enemy, damages the enemy a little bit, which we'll figure out, and then it needs to be teleported back up to the source. So we are going to disable this for a second. And the command's kind of similar. So we make it a chain command. And what's going to happen is instead of, so we're going to say here again, execute as the tower beam. And do, 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 do. this is where things get kind of cool. So at the tower, if if our if our beam has reached that one hacker says avid, what are you asking for here? Please help. I have a writing prompt about what is hope. Help. Hope. Hope is what you have when you have nothing else. It is a, it is, it is in essence, what keeps us moving forward as a civilization. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so glad I don't have to do writing prompts. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry that, that you have to do that. Um, and hopes, <laughs> yeah. Oh, writing prompts. Miserable character that never gives up. Exactly, exactly. So what we wanna say here is we have one command that creates the particles. We have one command that moves our beam down to the monster that is going to uh, that the beam is going to attack, and then we need to reset our beam once it reaches the monster. And we'll also deal damage. We'll do that too. But for now, let's just get the general movement down. So what we're going to say here is same command: execute as the tower beam at the tower beam. If there is an entity that is within one block that is of type fake enemy. And we don't even need to sort anymore or anything like that. Just basically check if there is an armor stand within one block of it that is the fake enemy. And if that is true, then, oh my goodness. I, this is why the execute command is amazing, everybody. Seriously, seriously, this is why it's amazing. Teleport to <laughs> an entity that is the top of the tower. So something like, and what is that one called? Tower stand. That's actually surprising here. Run teleport self. I hear, I know people are gonna be screaming. Um, how much damage is it gonna do? We'll figure that out. Teleport self um, to entity. It's mad and it's mad because we wanna sort nearest limit one. And now if we turn this on, ba-boom, beam. Champion! 
<laughs> you see it now? You see it now? Okay. And what's so cool about this is when there's no enemy, we'll have to figure that piece out, but all right. <laughs> Probably uh, shouldn't have gravity on those armor stands. <laughs> but what's so cool is it's tracking. So like if I put a uh, fake enemy over here, I think that should be, uh, I think I have it set to the distance to right. We all, everybody put an F in chat for that armor stand that just went down. I feel so bad. We put our tower beam wherever, doesn't really matter. There it goes. So we'll have to think about how far this ranged tower should reach. <laughs> Lots of Fs in chat. But this is the exact idea is the ranged tower, tower is gonna be doing little bits of damage here and there um, on, on monsters. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, in terms of how we're gonna do the damage, how we're gonna do that kind of stuff, I, I don't know if I wanna immediately tackle that because what I'm thinking is I wanna design another tower with you guys. I kinda had a lot of fun with that. So what do you guys think about if we were to design the freeze tower? Because I have a lot of thoughts on what it's gonna look like and, and I'd love to see what you guys think as well. Uh, Munch says you'll have to damage the enemy and then teleport the armor sand back to the tower. Yep, exactly. Uh, so the damage command is, we're gonna go right here and we're gonna have the teleport back command just be on top of that. But there, there's our beam. It's looking pretty good. I'm not seeing a particle trail. So let's just, uh, ah, there's my problem. That should be a little better. That's weird. I'm not seeing the particles. That's really strange. Displaying particle. It says it's displaying the electric spark. Maybe it's, um... Here, I'm gonna do this thing again. Because I just, I only need really one right now. Ah, the spark is really short-lived, you guys. That's the problem. So I'll do something that's a little longer lived, just so we can see it. Just because it's kind of fun. Let's do, for now, my favorite, which is the glow squidding. This is my favorite particle. This is like the best particle in the whole game. And it looks really cool with the environment too. Um, let's see, yeah, I, I, think, I think for now, like, oh, that looks so cool, you guys. And imagine enemies kind of going down the, down the track and this particle beam like hitting them, hitting them, hitting them like that. Snooze, snooze on the glow squid ink particle. Oh, come on, that's like the best one. Um, let's see, so Shaxon says, the beam should be simple, test for the enemy, and if there are no entity, delete the beam armor sand. Yep, exactly, yep, something like that, exactly. Or we make sure that instead of deleting the beam armor stand, that armor stand always lives up here at the top of the tower, so you kind of get that little particle, that little particle effect up at the top. I think that could look pretty cool. But uh, yeah, all right. Let's talk about the snow tower. Let's talk about the freeze tower and what it should look like. So we could go with the obvious choices. I wanna hear, I wanna hear you guys in chat, you know, color palette wise, what you wanna do for that tower. So I wanna hear, I wanna hear you think, cause I think I could go with something like a snow, a snow globe, which is maybe a little bit too much. Iron could be cool. Dancing ice girl, it, that seems complicated. Almost white. Yep, I like that idea. So we could play with some irons. We could play with we could play with some maybe some snow blocks, maybe something like that. Um, let's see. Call me Galaxy says random question. Avid, if you could only eat two different things and drink one thing, water already included, what would it be? Okay, uh, two different things. I would probably say, I would say, pasta. So and to be more specific, probably lasagna or gnocchi, I could eat that like every day of my of, of my existence. Um, and then uh, two things, coffee has to be, that's the one thing I could drink. Ooh, but if, yeah, so I could have water and coffee. Yeah, coffee. I need coffee to live. I need coffee so badly to live, but pasta. I'm all about pasta, guys. <laughs> Simon says, hello, love your videos. Hello, I love your comments. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for stopping by. We are working on a tower defense boss fight right now. And uh, we currently have one tower done, I put in quotes, because uh, it's there's still a lot of work left to do, but this is going to be our range tower. And this is going to start doing damage to enemies uh, as they meander their way down this interdimensional track. 
<laughs> the snoozing tower. Lucas! <laughs> okay. Next up is we need to make the freeze tower and what that's going to look like. So, I'm getting a lot of comments here on iron. Ooh, I don't want to lose. Um, let me just uh, put these put these name tags in a chest before I lose them because that would be really sad if I lost them. One, two, three. Put an armor stand in there. Why not? And that should be enough. So this, the freeze tower. This is going to be a shorter range tower. Um, likely, it's only going to affect a, a region. Like, there, you're going to probably want to place them at corners, is my guess. And so uh, and so let's think about, you know, what it's going to look like. I'm picturing like a little bulby, a little bulbous snow globe of some kind, you know. Um, yeah. Simon says, it's truly amazing some of the ideas and things you do. I've gotten a ton of inspiration from you. Thank you so much for saying that. Yeah, you know, um, that's why I do this stuff is because... I was wondering if there were more people out there like me who who make adventure maps and who who build in creative and and do all the kind of crazy things. So thank you so much for uh, for saying that. I really appreciate that. So we have blocks of iron. We have we can choose to use snow blocks, not powdered snow. We can choose to use snow blocks. But let's just kind of do a rough a rough outline of it, like a rough outline. Like is it? Is this really just going to be like a a bulb? What do you guys think? Dancing Ice Girl is a bit ambitious. Dancing Ice Girl, very, very ambitious. So I, I don't know if I can do that. But like something like this seems kind of boring too, you know? Like is this, is this really the best that we can do? I want to hear what you guys have to say. It's not bad. It's not bad. But is it is it good? That's the big difference. Is there going to be an overarching theme across the towers? There could be. There there could be. There doesn't have to be. Like the thing is, when I when I step into these boss fights, I kind of take a lot of the realism and just say, we are now stepping into a game. We are gonna have, you know, we're gonna be silly, we're gonna we're gonna make this like very gamified. So we kind of go away from things that are real and go more into things that are just representative of the mechanics that we're trying to build. So it doesn't, so they don't all have to look the same. Um, but with that being said, we could try to infuse some deep slate, deep slate colors in here and do something similar. I just don't really know how we would do that. Let's, let's just play around. Let's play around and I'll, and I'll look at some comments here. So question says, do you ever work with other people and do you plan on doing that? Um, that's a great question. So I have done a couple of uh, live streams with uh, some other friends of mine who are in the kind of data packs, uh, data pack community. So I have um, I have done some live streams with uh, with Dr. Trog, who is the creator of Skyblock Four, and just on Friday I did a live stream with uh, Devin, uh, Devin's desk, who made the True Survival uh, data pack, and it's really cool. So you guys, if you don't know those creators, you totally should check them out. But, uh, but yeah, I, I plan on doing more collaboration because I really like working with other people in, in the, in the kind of creative data pack space. I think it's, I think it is one of the coolest ways to increase the longevity of Minecraft, um, is to start to create things that you want to see, you know, um, what, this is feeling like a, like a snow, an iron snow lump, and it is a little bit, uh, sad looking honestly it looks kind of like it looks kind of like a like bird poop <laughs> maybe an igloo is not so good of an idea like uh like maybe maybe we slim it down and bring it up to like a really cool white globe at the top what do you guys think about that what do you think like we don't have a lot of room to work with that's always going to be our challenge here but what if we like what if the freeze tower, let's see, Ice King statue. I don't want to honor the Ice King. That guy causes way too many problems on this server. Like Mordor, like the all seeing eye. Yes, yes. Hmm. Ice tower. I'm feeling, I'm starting to get like, you know, that tower took us some time and I think it turned out really, really well. 
I think there's, I'll still tweak it a little bit, but I think, I think there's something to this tower that we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to tweak and we have to play with. An open refrigerator. That's a bit too gamified, Lucas. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's a bit. That's a bit too far in the other direction. But, hang on. I need some more blocks that I can work with here. Smooth quartz might help us. It's snowy. It's freezy. It's icy. Let's see. One hacker says, I'm making a mod with my friend. There's a boss that copies your inventory. What do they do once they copy your inventory? What happens then? I'm curious. Like, do they, do, do, do they like get your sword and they like fight you almost like a, uh, like a, like a mirror, mirror boss? Ooh, I'm starting to feel this. Uh, Callie, or call, Callie McGalaxy, call me Galaxy says, Avid, place an ice, uh, an ice block with a face on top. That could be cute. Might be a little too cutesy. Might be a little too cutesy. Destroyer of clock. Oh, Destroyer, you always have the hack. You always know. <laughs> it's called the dark mirror. Cool. I like that idea of having like a, an enemy that mirrors you. That's a really cool idea. I'm already feeling this snow tower, you guys. I think it's actually really neat, and I wanna, I kinda wanna make it a little taller, and then see if we could get like a nice looking snow globe on the top of it. And maybe add some blues. I saw a comment for doing, uh, for using blue ice, and I think that's really smart. Duvid, thanks for stopping by, my friend. It's always great to see you. Uh, snow golem. Snow golem, like inside of it? That's a cool idea. Or maybe like the snow golem just lives inside of the tower and like he just kind of hangs out there. <laughs> I think we could do something like that. Um, let's let's get some blue ice out. I'm feeling I'm feeling some blue ice. It, is it is it really not? Is it not called blue ice? Did I? Am I crazy? Oh, it's right here. I was overlooking. I think blue could look super good with this. Like, is it too much? Oh yeah. It's like spires of ice rather than like fluffy, friendly snow. Mmm, it's a bit much. <laughs> it's a bit much. What do you guys think? It's a snow tower, right? So this tower, whenever monsters go near it, they're gonna get a slowness effect. There are gonna be some pretty cool particles around it. And we want it to be visually distinct. I actually think if we go with blue, we would just want the feet to kind of match. And is there really any, there's no stair that's blue. Oh, there's prismarine. Okay, hold on. I don't want this to look too weird, but sometimes weird is good. Make it really tall with a sharp point. Yeah, like, a, like an ice spike. That looks horrible. Oh God, burn it, burn it. Um, it doesn't always have to be a stair. Let's remember that is we can smooth things out with a slab. We're gonna we're gonna table that idea though. Prismarine changes blue to green and black. I agree. Yeah, prismarine's not right there. I agree completely. I'm gonna swap out the iron for a second here, and we're just gonna work on the top part of it. Um, and I'm gonna kind of rough. I'm gonna do a rough outline here. Ice and Deep Slate work well together. Yes, Tango Tech's second decked out is, I am so excited for Tango's decked out. And I'm not gonna lie, Tango's decked out inspired like everything that I do. Seriously, it is seriously amazing. Make a gradient with the ice. All right, uh, let's see. What other ice can we do? We have packed ice. Isn't one of these though, like one of these melts, right? Let's do a quick test. Do one of you melt? Let's get a torch and we'll, uh, we'll run this experiment on the side. Let's see here. Don't melt. Okay. So it melts, ice melts. This one, right? This one. So we'll do kind of like, we'll do a little bit of randomness here, maybe. Uh-huh. You guys feeling that? What, what other colors could we use with as a gradient? Let me know. Um, the next thing that I wanna do here just bear with me on this. 
is uh, we're going to get some more Deep Slate, and that's going to act as like a pedestal to this Freeze Towers globe. Let's get some light in here, too. I can't really see. Um, perfect light for this is always uh, going to be the Sea Lantern, because it just looks really, I think. Mm, yeah, we'll just put it here for now, just so I can see some things. Um, you could also, uh, there's some blue stained glass panes. Yeah, yeah, blue stained glass panes could look really good. A Mordor snow globe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Come on, Avid, do the ice, dude. <laughs> the only thing is if it's like a big cube, like I'm picturing, I'm picturing, here, I'll, I'll just try to, try to show you what I'm picturing. I'm picturing like a big bulb now on the top that, that looks terrible but like a not like that it's <laughs> just a big spherical bulb and then a point like an ice spike at the top which destroyer of clock you know said like yeah it should look kind of like an ice spike and i think that would look super cool um not obviously not with this block and uh and i think to uh, to zoe's point Maybe, maybe we could have like a little snowman inside of it too. I think that could look really good. So let's uh, let's play around with some glass here, some stained glass. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. How do we make it now? We don't have a ton of room to work with. Do the face like this. <laughs> I, I'll play around with the face. We'll see. We'll see if it works. It'd be kind of funny. One hacker says, uh, make it shoot something like a frozen scythe. I'm thinking more of like an area of effect, kind of like a snow cloud, um, just because that's that's the way that it's sort of going to, That's that's how it's going to work. Um, let's see. Munch says maybe deep slate arms surrounding the bulb. Yeah, that could look cool. Like, like containing it. The only thing is I can't break out. So I only have this. I have five by five to work with. So let's let's uh, let's start with the basics and then see how how it looks. Kind of a very square looking sphere. So I will work on that. I will work on that. Just got to smooth it out a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Something like this. I think we could go up one more level. Let's see. That one hacker says, make it hail. That'd be cool. Uh, Galaxy says, like, with a warped sign on the ice block. Like, with a little face on it. It could be an ice dude tower. All right, I'll, I'll, uh, let me try something. Let me see. I could put that in there as like a little Easter egg. Yeah, I'm, it's not, this isn't the, to this isn't perfect yet. So bear with me, everybody. I think, I, th I think we can get it though. It doesn't give us a lot of room to put commands in, but fortunately this tower is going to be like so simple that it, it's not going to need very many commands. Let's see. It's cool. It's almost a little too transparent. Hail mode for damaging and freeze mode for slowing down. We could try something like that. Yeah, we could. How do I make this feel a little less less junky? Luca says commands and towers are bad. I'm back and forth on it. I know cuz we're going to have a lot of redundant commands. Um I'm back and forth on it. It's not it's not a definite yet. But it, it's it yeah, I, I have a lot of thoughts on it. <laughs> um, let's see. Maybe the base of this stays. Let's see. Uh-huh. Minecraft sphere generator. I have no idea how to do one of those. And I and if you were to search Minecraft sphere generator, I surely hope you wouldn't click on anything by an avid MC. That I heard that doesn't even work. <laughs> uh huh. Let's plonk some deep slate stairs underneath this. 
Oh, use the sphere generator. <laughs> like an actual one. No, because I came up with a... I have a technique where I use an armor stand. That's, that was the joke I was making there. Ooh. Hmm. Shirtless guy. Uh, can I make a toilet? That way people can go to the bathroom and call it home. What does that mean? <laughs> if anyone in chat can decipher what that means, please, please do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, many people. What? What? Funny Bee is in. Hello. Hopefully uh, Funny Bee's experience will be a little uh, less chaotic than what we just had. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is getting there. Chase, hello, welcome, welcome. Fill it with water. But Zoe, I was gonna fill it with a snow golem because you said you said put a snow golem in it. This is already looking pretty cool. You cannot have, you cannot have what? You cannot have a snow golem now? Cause I was gonna put a friendly little buddy in here and he was just gonna, he was just gonna hang out, you know? And, and like, Water and snow golem. Can you do that? <laughs> we make it like a little winter paradise in here for him. What do you guys think of this tower? Needs a little work. Needs a little work. But overall, it's this is kind of my idea. And, uh, and then I want to have like an ice spike that comes off the top of it. So we have some packed ice, some blue ice. No, oh, I cannot have peace. Oh no, Zoe's here to murder people again. And this is placeholder. Placeholder. Uh, no. Something a little more like, and I liked uh, Luca's idea, um, which is uh, to use stained glass and maybe like a light blue stained glass to do like a little spiky like this. Not terribly visible, but also kind of cool. Chase, was my fix helpful? Chase, can you remind me what your fix was? Was it... Oh, I'm racking my brain now. Can you just remind me? Um, yeah, Destroyer Clock says they die in the water. Let's put our little buddy in here. Is there really not a snowman spawn egg? Isn't that kind of funny that they have spawn eggs for everything else? So what is it? <laughs> How do you make a snowman? Uh, ja a jack-o'-lantern or just a carved pumpkin with one block of snow? Is that enough? No. Um, let's see. So Chase says, was my fix helpful? To use item replace. Yes, your fix was super helpful. That made things so much cleaner for me. That made things so much cleaner for me. It's two snow blocks, Destroyer of Clock. Thank you. You notice I don't play, uh, <laughs> I don't play survival at all. I just make adventures. I just make adventure maps. Here we go. Oh no, he's dying! He died! Oh! Well, I guess I have to make it a little taller for him. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> that's really sad. We lost our first friend. Here we go. Why is he dying? Why does he die? Why, di why die? It's not like he's taking suffocation damage. The height had nothing to do with it. Yeah, what is it? What causes him to die in there? He cannot stand on light. Thank you. Okay. That's sad. Poor guy. Hey, what? Now, now what? Oh, the biome. The biome. Oh, well, that's okay. I guess we're just gonna have to have no nobody. The, what's the biome? That's a great question. Let's take a look at what the biome is. Uh, Savannah. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's so sad. It's the Savannah biome. He can't survive in here, guys. Oh, a polar bear or a stray or give an invulnerable tag. There are lots of options. Hmm. I like a snow golem because I think it's adorable. So I'm gonna do my best here to uh, invulnerable one B. That's not the right one. Invincible, invulnerable, 
Fire res. I think invulnerable is a little uh, more future proof. Expired. Um, let's see. What about if it's a water tank instead? A, a water tank with a water tank inside of an ice uh, ice tower probably doesn't make the most sense. I would say. Um, I think it makes more sense to have like a like like a little guy in there making snow. Invulnerable has to be, right? Isn't that, is that is in V U N E R A B L E? Invulnerable. 1B. Am I crazy? Is that, that's right, right? Chat? I'll leave it up. And while I leave that up, I'm going to check MC Stacker, which is a lifesaver. If you people don't use MC Stacker, oh my goodness. What, what are you doing? Um, let's see. Yeah, invulnerable. I, I think I had it spelled correctly. That seems right. I misspelled. Now I will not. Yay! Our buddy! Hey there, dude! Um, he's not gonna make any snow because there's light in here. Thank you, I fixed it. <laughs> Thanks everybody for that, that feedback. Yep, I think we fixed it. Hi, uh, it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a little a little warm in here for you bud with with this but now at least we have a friend in the ice tower yeah <laughs> galaxy says avid your world is literally about an evil wizard i think sense is not important oh i'm in spectator and i think having fun is the most important thing and making things that are fun like this so here's our ice tower. I think it needs to be a little more, uh, a little spikier. So let's do that really quick. Maybe we'll make that two, two blocks. Maybe even a little more. I feel like, I feel like this should be a spiky, a spiky boy. Something like that. This is our snow tower. It's a little tall. It's gonna start uh, trimming the trimming these end rods here. Hmm, and that means that it's the summon command. I just have to be careful that the end rods don't extend down. Glass the corners. These corners here. Maybe we'll do. Uh, let's do a pane. Let's try out some different colors. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Uh-huh. I'm going to think about the top. Um, oh, glass the corners in the spike. Oh, that's a cool idea, too. Let's see. These corners. I want to see like a lot of these these glass features. I think that could look really neat. And then we'll have to figure out what the base looks like. Um, let's see. Okay. Chase says, uh, Chase says, hey, do you think having an attack for an AI boss where creepers drop from the ceiling is good? I think dropping creepers down from the ceiling is always a good idea because it's going to create like a an immediate moment of panic for players. Um, I think that would be super fun. Now you want to make sure that it's balanced so that it's not just like an insta kill but otherwise i think that could that could work really well i think that could look really good um all right here's some ideas lucas says at the base instead of full blocks i'll try that let me just try a couple of things here sometimes doing something like that is cool i think this looks weird because of the stair up above it but i do want to see a little more light down below use snow layers for the base hmm you mean like uh, like this type of snow layer? Yeah, that could look pretty good. It's basically a slab of snow. And we'll just like kind of randomly put it about. Or maybe even like have some kind of pattern to it. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, it's looking a little chilly. The... Uh, yeah, I think this is looking really cool for like a snow tower. It's it's a bit 
it's a bit beefy. And you guys are going to hate me, but I think I... Oh, do we think the this big piece has to come down one block? I feel like it does. And I can probably do it without causing too much... People say make it larger. I feel like uh, it's already so big. You know? Taller, not shorter. If it's too tall, it's gonna start getting in the way of my danglies. These dang dangly things. So I, I gotta be, I gotta be careful. I gotta be ca a little careful on that. You feel like it's stubby. It does look a little stubby. You're right. Maybe we make it a little thinner. The dripples. Snoozing tower is a bit small. It is a bit small, but I, I think it's very proportional. I think it looks really nice. <laughs> One hacker, welcome back. Uh, basically, we are working on the snow tower now. Uh, we got a little snow golem in here who's our little friend. Um, and we are trying to just make sure that proportionally it looks good. I think it's a bit stubby. And I think that is mainly because I, I have some, my brain is doing something, guys. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I don't want it to look too chunky at the bottom, and that's what's happening right now. And I think a lot of that is because of the deep slate. And I'm a huge fan of these type of glass panes. So let's see how this looks. Two blocks higher, you think? Okay. We'll make it work. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll try to make it a little higher. I'm already liking this. I'm already liking the slimming down that's happening. This thing's on a diet. Nope. That's, look at that. Ooh. But I think what's better, is that too invisible? Yeah, it probably is. You can barely see it. What do you guys think on the color of these paints? What would you do? Ooh, a little more inspiration. little more inspiration just to kind of bring the tower together hello from Ireland cool welcome 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 we are working on a tower defense boss fight and uh, and we have here <laughs> we have here two towers of the five that I uh, that I'm starting to put together we're gonna work on mostly the design, but we also have a, a few of the mechanics. The uh, that tower there is just gonna be shooting beams at enemies, and so that's what you're seeing there. Um, seeing there, so that's a pretty cool one. And this is our ice tower, and we're just kind of working out the details. Things feel good, but also I'm not I'm not totally solid on it yet. Make the snowman room smaller. I think I'm a, I think I'm in agreement. I think it's a little too bulbous. And, uh, and, and I don't use that word very often, but I do think in this case, we got like a big bulby, a big bulb nose. So Tricky agrees. Hey, Igor, welcome back. It's looking amazing. Thank you so much. Um, what progress did we make? Well, I was just saying this tower is shooting a laser beam at a fake enemy over there. And we're starting on the design of the snow tower. Um, and it's, it's coming together. I'm not like sold on it yet. There are no pieces of this tower where I feel like it's it's right. Shirtless guy says lava would go well with it. I, I think lava is going to go better with another tower that I have uh, an idea for. Ooh. I, okay. That base feels really good right now. You guys feel that right now? Like that looks, the top, I'm not sure about yet. Snowman room, I'm not, I don't know. But like from here down, yeah. That's feeling like an ice tower. I'm not even sure if, if Deep Slate has to be in here. Random Coin says use TNT. All right. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Let's see. Here. Just because you asked. Yep. Here we go. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do a little bit of this. Here we go. All right. I use TNT. <laughs> the snowman. He's like an air traffic controller. <laughs> I love him. I love him. He's great, but his room's a little too big. His room's a little too big. So, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Snowman, but I need to... You're gonna just get in the way. I promise you'll, you can come back. 
But uh, I'm not gonna kill him, guys. I won't, I would never do that. I would never, ever in my life imagine killing a snowman. That seems just, that seems cruel. So we'll just, you know, we'll get him. He's somewhere, he's somewhere, somewhere, fine. <laughs> okay, we'll make the snowman a little room if there's space. I just wanna make sure that this thing has the right proportions. And what I'm thinking is I feel like the, the top central bulb actually is pretty good. But I think the mistake right now is that I'm not using glass panes. I think if we went with glass panes for the top, I think it could look slimmer without us actually having to do anything. But let's see, let's just see. I'm gonna place down some things that make sense to me first. That's kind of my build style, or actually really any project I ever work on is when something comes to my mind and I know that that's what I'm gonna do, I place it down and then the, then the ideas just start kind of flowing after that. So let's see. Now, I'm not feeling the deep slate in this one. Maybe a little sliver of it, but not much. I don't want much. This is already looking kind of cool. It's looking kind of cool, guys. Oh. Oh. Ooh. One by one room with glass wall uh, panes. Yeah, Lucas, I agree. TNT tower. We're actually, believe it or not, we're going to build that. You know what? Since you said it, shirtless guy, that's the one we're going to do next is the exploding tower. So you guys in the chat, stick around. We're going to have some fun. Um, okay. I'm really liking this. Uh, I'm really liking this. Uh, okay. Expired says, add bed chair for the snowman how much room do we have for the snowman not much i don't know add furniture in the ice tower uh <laughs> we could let's see how much room we have okay my next thing i want to tackle is kind of the cap to this ice tower we could just try to extend some of these maybe let's see how this looks just a little bit of deep slate hmm my, my brain is thinking about things. Thinking about things. Now, I never, you know, I do something, I'm never really sold on it. So then I kind of start, I start again. But let's see. No, that's a big no. That's a big no. Uh, Igor says, when I left you, we're still fixing the copper room. <laughs> yeah, that was a mess. I never really ended up fixing it. I think there's still problems with it. <laughs> um, let's see. Will you be using slash clone or structure command? Structure blocks. Yes. How will these towers be placed? How will they be placed? Uh, I have ideas, but basically there's going to be some kind of entity that players are going to be able to buy from a store. That's right here. They buy from a store. And, uh, and what they do is they're going to place that entity down and that's going to boom, spawn in one of these towers. And they have to pay a currency that they gain from surviving waves of this boss fight. Uh, Omer DeRoyal, finally a good commands boss maker. I guess I'll just subscribe. I'm humbled. I try, I try. This is uh, this is definitely unique for me. It's a full-on tower defense boss fight. But uh, I have I have a lot of videos on boss fights, and uh, my community is also really, really amazing at making them. Um, so uh, let's see. Deep Slate looks bad at the bottom and on the roof. I think I feel you there. Let's try. Uh, I, do, I do like the shape of some of these things. So uh, let's see. And Chase, I see your comment. I will respond in one second. I just want to, I just want to make sure that I have this perfect before I, okay, this could work. This could work. Yeah. Quartz isn't too bad. Sometimes quartz next to, uh, next to snow looks a too different, especially if it's really well lit. Um, this isn't too bad. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. So another attack for your AI is where several skeleton turrets, suspended skeletons in one block area spawn and eventually disappear. Uh, you should totally check out a, uh, my boss video, um, that I did where my community made bosses. There is a, an attack by the very last boss fight that does something very similar. And I think it works quite well. I think it's pretty good. Crazy Lab, you're a bit too late? Nah, you're right on time. You're right on time because we're only on our second tower. 
I can't promise we're gonna do every tower today. Uh, I can, but we're at least trying to get the general design down. And oh, that looks so good, you guys. Ooh, that looks so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. You know what Minecraft is desperately n missing, though? It's missing a white wall that isn't poopy, gross diorite. Like, there needs to be a quartz wall. Why is there no quartz wall? <laughs> oh my goodness. Expired, uh, you wrote a, a letter for your teacher on Discord. Is there anything I can fix? I, I can check that after the stream. I probably can't check <laughs> during the stream, but I, I will help you out. Calcite wall munch, yes. Why are there no white walls in Minecraft? Concrete walls. Uh, is this really all we have? Stinking gross diorite? It's gross. I mean, if you want like snow that looks like, actually it's not too bad. <laughs> it's good, but it's it's because it's all we have to work with. That's terrible. And there isn't a white fence either. It's just it's just a mess. But maybe we can do something like that. I like that. What are you guys thinking? Yeah, end rod, end rod, and then kind of like tip it off to kind of make it trail away. I think that could look really nice. Yeah. I feel good. I think I will end up making changes to this. In fact, one thing that I think could look nice. Let's see. Let's see if we hate it. See if we don't. That could look nice. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Slain by a traitor llama? Um, yeah, Munch, diorite is just gross. I agree with this, Cal, in every regard. It is not, it is not a pretty block. I just wish, I wish there was a white wall of some kind. Um, now, the only thing about this is I'm feeling like it needs a little bit of some kind of brightness um, below. So if we do a, uh, a lantern, like a sea lantern here, is that too much? Stand back and we'll see. It's a little bit much. It's a little much. Hold on. Maybe we stuff it into the snow. And then we were gonna have a gradient, so let's make sure we still have a, a semblance of a gradient. There we go. There we go. I like the dark blue a little better. Not gonna lie. It's really nice. I just reversed the gradient. I think I did. And I think it looks weird. <laughs> it's it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a uh, an on the fly build project if we didn't build everything at least three to four times. Put it back. I agree. Yep. I agree. I'm putting it back. I'm putting it back. Yeah, yeah, that does look better. And then that should come up to a slightly lighter. I even wonder, let's see, we'll just think. We, we place blocks, we think, we slow down, we think, we stop. Yeah. That's pretty cool. This feels like a lot. It still feels a little chunky. Uh, Funny B says, Avid, where's the tower? Where's tower one for the deep quest? Uh, you should be able to find it where you are. Uh, it's it. There are ten towers on that island. Tower one is the one that is kind of uh, broken. It has red on the top of it. Uh, Zoe says, Avid, we're in adventure mode and need help. All right, I'll come over and help you guys. Uh, Omar de Royal, I see two comments from you. First is you and your friend are making a ra uh, raids with bosses and uh, your creativity gets bombarded by commands and your video really helps inspire me. Oh, that's awesome. Um, to teach me how to do many things you never thought are possible. That's the thing. You just start with what you want to do and chances are you can probably do it within reason. Um, but do you think it's possible to make an epic Enderman boss fight with cool effects when he teleports? 
Definitely, um, I can think of ways where you have like an armor stand that follows that Enderman around, and then maybe if the Enderman is a certain distance away from the armor stand, you could have effects. Um, I would say start looking at um, some of the uh, the videos that I've put out, uh, like where my community made bosses, there are so many different things that you can do with commands and data packs, and that will give you a ton of inspiration. It's it's like my most recent video on the channel. But if you ever uh, have questions, come and join us in the Discord. We talk a lot about boss building. Um, yeah, Destroyer of Clock is one of those folks in the Discord who, uh, who helps out a lot. Uh, okay, we have some people who are in need of our help. So let's teleport over there. Hello? They are doing the deep quest right now, by the way, which is what we just did with Devin not too long ago. And uh, and they're looking for Tower 1. Tower 1's over here. Where are they? Wait. Funny Bee, you're going the wrong way. Turn around. Turn around. Over here. <laughs> She's gone. Oh, that's... You're... You're... No. No. You want to go this way. Hold on. Hello. This is a nice skin, by the way. Follow me. Avid, you have us muted. I do. Hang on a second. I'll fix that. Oops. <laughs> I disconnected. <laughs> that's not the button I wanted to click. Uh, da, 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 chat settings shown. Hello. Follow me to Tower One, friends. Also, nice skins. <laughs> this way. She's not following me. Where am I? That's a good question. The, uh, the stream delay is weird. Yeah, it's super weird. Um, when I was doing the uh, boss competition, uh, the mods were trying to keep up with the stream, and it was uh, it was super super hard for them. But they did a really good job. Tower one is over here. You see it? It's the red top. That's tower one. Hey! Did I help? Oh, this is unfortunate. Don't look, chat. Don't look. Okay. Yep, so they're trying to beat the deep quest. What's their questions? Yes. Avid Screeny. What does that mean? <laughs> what? You just go in here. And you have to get... You have to go to Tower 10. Oh, in my Discord? Oh, okay, hang on a second. I think they're stuck. I think I know where they're stuck because they probably don't have a pick of Ebonglade on them. Unless, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these two. <laughs> oh, I wanna do a selfie. Oh, 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 that's fun. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Screenshot! Yee! <laughs> say, on three, say adventure! <laughs> well, hey, I have never heard Screeny in my life. <laughs> okay, I have to get back to, I have to get back to the towers now. You want me up here? Up here? <laughs> Did I do it? <laughs> adventure awaits! Back to where we were, everybody. Oh no, there's a problem. I, uh, I disconnected and I lost my command history. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my gosh. So many distractions. That's why I love it though. It's like, that's why I love streaming is because my brain has, is massively, massively ADHD. <laughs> like, and I, I know that doesn't really make, make sense, but I am constantly being pulled and so many different directions just at any point of the day um and i love it i, I kind of live for that is like having 
a million things to do. Um, and this is one of them. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, we're back. Um, taking a second look at the tower. W you know, now that we've taken a step away for a moment, which I think definitely helps a lot. You guys think that tower is ready? What do you think? What else do you think it needs? What do you think? See you, Red Dust. Have a good one. Um, let's see, Avid. I never heard about uh, my. Uh, have I ever heard? Never heard about Cloud Wolf. Are you planning on meeting Cloud Wolf? I would totally meet Cloud Wolf. Yeah, man. Um, Cloud Wolf makes some really cool command creations as well. I uh, I would love to. That'd be fun. Uh, says Munch. Uh, Hacker says, do you have a high uh, high pixel skyblock? I have never played high pixel. Um, and multiplayer stuff is not my my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> Just not just makes me just makes me angry sometimes needlessly um, Cloud wolf legitimus and timber forge are the big three. I would agree. Yep uh, I, When's the last time timber forge posted? I feel like I haven't seen anything from timber forge in so long um, I would love to see something Here we go. This is almost feeling right. Hold on a second. I'm just trying to work on that gradient now. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to just, because we're going from darker to lighter, um, and then we'll get Snowman back. We'll pull him out <laughs> from the depths of hell. Yes, we will. We'll pull him out. We'll free him. I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like I could tweak this tower for days and days and days. But I think it's time for us to get on to the exploding tower. Uh, because I think that one's going to have one of the coolest aesthetics. Um, and then we can maybe talk about the lookout tower after that. So let's get our snowman buddy back. Hold on a second. Just got to pop into MC Stacker. MC Stacker is life. One of the mods of MC Stacker is actually in my Discord now. And I was super humbled when they joined. Um, I think their name is Sirius Star. And, uh, yeah, so if you guys aren't in the Discord, we have so many bright people in the Discord who just want to help out with your command block creations. So definitely come join us. We have a lot of fun. Uh, okay. I feel good about this tower. You guys have any feedback on it? What do you think? Yeah, Hypixel is a bit more intense than what I do. Yes, they definitely use plugins. The snow tower. We have it. Pretty cool. Now, we got to at least do a little bit with particles. We can't just leave it. We can't just leave the snow tower sitting there like this. So, let's give it a little bit of a uh, of a snowy atmosphere all around. Why the long face? What? You mean this guy in here? He does look kind of sad. <laughs> this is going to be, I think, something that we tweak over time. But so far, I really like it. I just, I could go on and on and on about details. I could put so many details into things. Uh, snow particles, let's do it. Drop it right in here. Snow particle time. Is that, that's facing towards me. I want, there. I just am very picky about how commands are placed. See ya, hacker. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, repeat command, particle. This one's super easy. What is a snow? Do we have snow? There are snowflakes. And uh, we'll do it eight blocks up, maybe. And, oh, that's not the right one. People are probably like, hey, don't do that. Do you even know the particle command? Get it wrong all day? <laughs> snowflakes aren't real. You're gonna have to explain to me on that one, Clock, what, what exactly you mean by that. <laughs> Uh, let's make them slow. They're gonna be that fast. We'll make 10 of them, which is it's gonna be a lot more than you think How are we looking none? The particle is not visible for anybody all within a distance of 10 All right, the particle doesn't show anything snowflakes really aren't a particle. Oh my gosh. You're actually right They aren't real Oh my gosh, that's, that's mean. Why? Okay, 
What do we go with instead? I mean, I can try snow snowballs. That's not a real thing either, is it? Snowflakes are particles, but apparently they aren't actually particles. Like, here, we have a particle that's working over here. If I were to switch this out for, just out of curiosity, the snowflake. Oh, they're snowflakes. They are real. I can't believe I listened to you. <laughs> you had me convinced. You're a jerk. No, it's fine. It's funny. Uh, Lucas says, Avid, how can you mess up the particle man, particle command so many times? Because I rely on MC Stacker so much that I don't know how to do anything on my own anymore. <laughs> but it's fine. I can live with it. Um, so let's see. Speed is five. These are the, si this is the size of it. And this is where it's going to be. What did I get wrong? Count, force, and they're saying the particle is not visible for anybody. What do I have wrong here, everybody? What do I have wrong? It's up eight high. Before I resort to MC Stacker, it's gotta be simple, right? Spoiler, it's not, but you didn't tell me what's wrong with it. <laughs> All I use is MC Stacker and Legitimus tutorials. Yeah, Legitimus tutorials are amazing. They are so good. All right. Hold on a second. Maybe eight is too tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They should be centered. Oh, do you see them? Are they in here? Are they just like... I don't see them. How is it not great? How is what not great? Oh, no, I think uh, Lucas was not saying MC Stacker isn't great. Lucas was saying that my command is not right. And I don't know why. Like, if I just put a snowflake... That's so... Oh, there they are. They're here. So, here, I'm just gonna learn. We're gonna learn together. So, just... Just as an experiment. Execute positioned up eight blocks run now this should there see that something was weird about the particle command i still don't know what but we're gonna find out um so then one 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 now what happens aha one 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 made it upset because that is the position not the delta i always get those backwards no what <laughs> Um, Munch said, I had a suggestion a while back that for a tower that dispenses water to clump up and or split enemy lines. I think it's a cool idea. It really depends on how I implement the AI. Um, and the AI is going to be a big part of my video because as you can imagine, convincing mobs to go from that door perfectly in a line all the way over to the orb, which is going to be there, uh, that's going to be pretty tricky. I have ideas. And I, and I would love to hear from chat what you guys think. I've been talking with some some pretty good command people about it, too. Uh, but I do have some ideas. But uh, what's going on with this snowflake command, everybody? Why can't I... So this next command here is... Is the position. Uh-huh. Looks good. Now, the next command here is the delta. Maybe there's something different about the snowflake command that I don't know. Because sometimes, like, there are commands that have extra parameters. I'm uh, Hang on a second. I'm going to MC Stacker. Hold on. Bear with me. Uh, I want particle. I want snowflake. Location coordinates, exactly where I am. Speed, count, 10, mode, force. Why not? There is nothing that says that what I'm doing right now shouldn't work. That is so weird. Let's try it, though. Oh! Whoa! They actually are, like, constrained. That's cool! Oh, let me get my chat back up. That is super cool! I want them to be on the outside, though. <laughs> uh, motion tag is... Uh, yep, yeah, motion tag is an idea. Um, I'm, there are some old mechanics and some new mechanics that I'm going to try to bring together. Did you guys know that the snow particle was smart and stays contained like that? That is really neat. Um, 
Yeah, wow, okay, so I think that's not gonna quite work. But let's see if I make, if I give this one, one, one. Well, at least, yep, they're starting to escape. Spawn them from the top of the end rod. Let's do that. So let's see, it's at eight, so nine, 10, 11, 12. Looks like a popcorn machine. <laughs> that would be a very hot and sad snowman if it was in a popcorn machine. Uh-huh, now it's too fast. They're so fast. It's way too fast. Um, let's try like a 10th of that speed and see if that's better. Ooh, it's starting to get there. Starting to get there. I want it to kind of like surround the whole thing though. Um, let's see. Crazy Lab, maybe just a slowing force field would do the job. Are you talking about for the mob AI? Because I have a pretty cool uh, idea already using wandering traders. So we're gonna try that one out. Um, Destroyer of Clocks is add more Delta, I agree. Munch says, also, have you, uh, do you have an entity tag for all undead mobs in my data pack? Uh, I will. I will probably. Well, I have, I have, to Lucas's point, I don't have a data pack. I've made a couple of exceptions, um, but I don't typically use data packs just because it's not the kind of content that I want to create, and it's really fun to kind of solve problems in a way that most people aren't solving problems. Um, so, but uh, I will probably have a predicate in my, in a data pack just because predicates are an exception uh, because there are things that you can do with them that I just can't replicate with just command blocks in an efficient way. Um, so that is kind of my spiel. Uh, let's see, Omar de Royal. Omar de Royal says, do you think it's possible to make a villager that sells chorus fruit with a colored name and lore? Yes, of course, villagers are super easy to modify. I would recommend checking out MC Stacker um, to do that. Expired, welcome back, friend. Welcome back. We are currently trying to tune this snow tower here to get the snow to, oh yeah. It's starting to look really good, you guys. That's starting to look really, really good. It doesn't, um, I, I want it to kind of indicate the radius of effect. So I think I need to bring it down a little bit more, a little bit more, but not a lot. But I'm thinking, oh yeah, that's looking really good. Oh, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this right now. Yeah. Yeah, expired. I agree. Woo! <laughs> um, let's make this extend down by four, five. Let's try five. These numbers are weird. So if you guys have ever played with the particle command, these numbers aren't like a distance or anything like that. Legitimus has a really good tutorial on the particle command. Um, so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. But that is, uh, they, they are, they kind of represent the, the size of the particle area in X, Y, and Z coordinates. Um, yep, so I think I'm gonna bring it down a little more. Execute, let's try it at seven. And let's bump out these to two and to two, and we'll make it, we'll try 20 particles and see if that's, it's a little too much. We'll tone it down to 15 and I think we're good. And that's the design of two towers. I love it. I love it. I think that looks awesome. I think that looks really good. It looks really good. Might even be too many particles. I could probably tone it down even a little bit more. Maybe bring it back to 10 and see how it looks. Yeah, there we go. And that should slow mobs. Now this is gonna slow all the mobs that go around in a certain area from it. Something like that. Cool, cool. Okay, um, so I wanna do uh, another tower with you guys here. So let's uh, let's start putting that one together. And this one is gonna be an exploding tower. Uh, per, per the request of several people in the chat on making a tower out of TNT, which is an idea. Not necessarily gonna make it out of TNT. It's getting a little bit of water. And yeah, this tower is gonna be one that explodes. A mortar. Uh, okay, let me just let me just describe the idea first and then because destroyer I like that idea um, Just one thing about that is I want this to be something that explodes only when a player shoots it So there's gonna be like a nub on it and it's it's just gonna have probably like a blast radius So like you can go as simple as just making it look like a landmine um, That's one idea But uh, but I'm open to suggestions 
I'm open to suggestions. But I think this one should be red. Definitely lots of red. Like, uh, let's clear inventory. We'll do like magma. Magma blocks. Something like this. It's probably gonna be a lot. Just pile a bunch of TNT, not TNT. <laughs> Cause I know for a fact that water flow is gonna come in here and, and he's gonna have a flint and steel on him and he's gonna blow up the towers. This is not how it's gonna look yet. This is how our last tower started, just a blob. Yeah. But I do want it to kind of look Honestly, yeah, this is not going to be too complicated because it's going to kind this one super simple. It's going to look like yeah, it's going to look like uh like a like a what am I thinking of? Like a landmine. I already I'm like already feeling this. <laughs> I think that's it. Done right now. Red candle at the top. Um, the can't the thing that's gonna explode has to be a full block. So we'll figure out something there Black hole says crazy lab snake says are you ever gonna do a bedrock stream? I probably could uh, I definitely um, you know what I really love about commands is they uh, They kind of work on both versions and they're similar enough There is not quite the same parody, but they do they do work Somewhat to the same, so I do think you know my content does cater to Bedrock. So maybe yeah, I could do a Bedrock stream at some point. Lucas says you could artificially explode all TNTs that are about to explode to protect the buildings from damage. That is that is just complicated enough to to work. <laughs> um, let's see. I think a candle might not be necessary. <laughs> it also looks kind of silly. But the idea with this one is I think I want like a red block, some kind of like. Because this block is where there's going to be a slime that's spawned in. And when players shoot it with the bow, this whole thing can explode. And it's going to cause a huge AOE uh, uh, amount of... It's going to cause a huge amount of damage to, to mobs. So... I'm going to play around with this for a second. This is kind of looking a little... I mean, it's there's nothing really fancy about it, is there? Nothing... Nothing... And there's not... What can you really do to it? I guess. So, let me see. I have, uh, I could maybe mix in some mud. Just to give it a little bit of visual variety. <laughs> this tower is, like, probably the easiest one. It's just a landmine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yep. That's all it's gonna be. I think. Um, the wick. Maybe the wick could be made out of, like, uh, a calcite. Or something like that. A very large landmine. Yes! And the explosion is gonna be super cool. We're probably gonna do some kind of like particle effect. And uh, and let's actually, uh, let's start look, looking at that explosion and how that works. So the way that this explosion is going to be triggered is this block is going to work just like the ephemeral platforms. And for those who are just joining and are not familiar with that, I can just really quickly just go over there. Maybe a lava mine. Could be a lava mine. Could be. Could make like lava all over the platforms that then, nope, that then disappears. So ephemeral platforms, we need this, whenever one of these blocks break here, like this, right? There's a, there's a slime here. And I'm just gonna kill this slime for a second to get him out of the way. Boom, you break that, something happens. So we're gonna use this same technique over here to make the landmines actually explode because somebody, you can shoot them. And I, looking at these three towers from a distance, I actually think they look super cool. I think they look super cool. I'm really, I'm really happy with how these are looking. This one is nothing to write home about, <laughs> but it's meant to, it's meant to explode. So that I can live with. Um, so the way that this one is going to work is we're going to have a, uh, this is going to be execute if block immediately to above it is air a uh, good question is it a one-time use what do you think making it one-time use is a lot easier 
making it a multi-time use, there'd have to be some kind of reset mechanism. And I've thought about this. Um, I, I have ideas, but what do you guys think? I mean, it, I guess it depends on how much it costs. Um, Funny B says it should recharge. Or what if you have to pay to recharge it? So you put the tower down and then the currency that's used to purchase towers, you have to like supply it here and it reloads. It reloads the tower. I think we could do something like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. But uh, but for the for the tower's sake, the effect is pretty simple. So if the block two blocks above it is air, then we are going to run particle <laughs> explode. I know how people feel about this one. And then <laughs> let's see, run particle explode. For now, this is just temporary. I'm just getting getting some ideas out there. Explosion. Delta. Five five five. Apparently doesn't doesn't do anything. Oh no, not this again. <laughs> let's see, Detroit Clock says, uh, let's see, Lucas says pay to recharge. It's just like buying a new one. That's true. You're right. It is like buying a new one. Um, it could be a little cheaper, but yeah, that's fair. Um, Crazy Lab says, or it could just shoot mines out of it. It could, um, but I, I think I like the idea of having this tower be initiated by the player. It's very, it is very cloudy in there. Three, three. And so this thing will explode when that block is missing. So you shoot it with an arrow, boom, tower explodes. And that, and clock, I know clock, Destroyer of Clock hates the explosion particles. Hates it. Hates it. Um, unless it's suspicious stew. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. MC Stacker is amazing, but um, I can set a specific custom food item to give effects and not a regular food item. Yeah, uh, suspicious stew is, uh, is a good one. All right, clock. Help me out again then. What would you think is the explosion particle that we should go with? Oh my gosh, that is disorienting. Turn that off for a second. Goodness. Oh! <laughs> we just had a death on the server. F in chat, everybody. Zoe just died. More sonic booms. All right, we'll try the sonic boom. It's a lot. The sonic boom is a lot is, is, my, only, is my only gripe with it. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. Okay. Let's see. Speed, we'll say, is slow. Count is one. Ooh, that does look good. It, I wish it was red. <laughs> expired thanks for the f by the way i think zoe really appreciates that um yeah this one looks cool it's uh if it's gonna make a explosion like this i think we have to make it look different i'm not gonna lie i think if we're gonna use this color like it needs to be a red explosion if it's red like i want everything to be make the bomb red make the bomb red but the bomb is kind of red Oh, but like you're saying more of the outside of it. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Hmm. But red concrete's too red. Not red enough. All right, I'll try. I'll try. We'll play, we'll play around with some of that. A Sonic Mine. I love that name. That's what we're going to call it. Sonic Mine. Let's see. There's not a red frog light. Color me surprised. We could put some yellows in it. Maybe look. Maybe make it look a little more sinister. Is that too fun? That might be. That color might be too fun. The little mushroom. Skulk mine. Sonic mine. Ooh. Skulk mine. Skulk mine. That has me completely changing how I want it to look. It's a skulk mine, guys. That is such a cool idea. That is. A, that is like completely inspired me to 
completely change how this looks. Let's see. Yes. Hang on. Just getting some just getting some ideas. Zoe just got diamonds. GG. GZ. Cyan instead of red concrete. Yeah, something like that. Yep, I agree. I agree. We're going to switch it out. Just just trying to get like the basic the base of it first. I got to turn off this. This is making my head this is making my head hurt. But a bed for the snow golem. Is there room for that? He won't have he won't be able to walk around. Poor guy. Catalysts will cause some problems. <gasps> You're right. I forgot that blocks do things. You're right, even though it looks good. Um, yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, okay, hold on. I'll just fill out the bottom for now, and then we'll talk. Because it, it's blending in a lot, and I don't want it to just look like the walls, and I don't want it to just look like the platform. So I think the base has to be a different color. That goes nicely with Skulk. Um, so let's think about that. Replace catalysts with sea lanterns. Let's try sea lanterns. Ooh, it does look very, like, sinister looking. Hold on. I might leave, like, a strip of the skulk like this. Uh-huh. Can you use a debug stick to do something to the catalyst? Probably not, is my guess, because... I would imagine you could do the same thing to like, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think the debug stick can change properties like that. Yeah, and clock, clock also confirmed that. It has no properties. That is a shame. That is very much a shame. Hmm, Skulk Bomb. What else goes with Skulk? What are some blocks? This I don't think is gonna go nicely. That looks weird. It's too too much. Hmm. <laughs> Could just like totally go in a direction of just like <laughs> that's so much. That is too much. Oh, but it's like it's so volatile. It's a lot though. That feels like a lot to me, but it does have about the amount of skulk that I would want. I don't want it to have too much skulk. Keep saying the word skulk eventually it stop it's gonna stop meaning something <laughs> hmm maybe make it taller yeah we could make it one block taller i just want to make sure that you can still shoot the top of it from like down here like you have guys come towards you like oh no i gotta shoot it and boom and it blows up that area we can make it one block maybe one block taller but first i want to think about the pallet i'm just like flying around like kind of Kind of thinking, putting putting my brain cells together on what... I don't like the yellow. He said, you saw some YouTubers set properties of the catalyst. Lapis Deep Slate Snake could be cool. I'm going to try. Let's do an experiment here. Catalyst. Skulk. Oh, we already had one. Debug stick. My favorite item. Hear me out on this one, guys. What would you think? I was talking with uh, with Sky Will Die, who is very frequently in the chat, and they they gave me this idea of could you beat Minecraft with just the debug stick? Whoa! Did you guys just see that? <laughs> That's cool. You can make it bloom. What does bloom even mean? Does this mean it has like experience in it or something? That looks beautiful, by the way. That looks really cool. Look at that. That's all you can do with it, but still, that's super neat. So what happens when something dies near this? It, it spreads, is that how it works? I, I I don't play vanilla. Yeah, there's only, there's just bloom is the only property it looks like, but that is super cool that you can make it do that. That's really neat. What does bloom even mean? It means it has experience in it, right? Wow, that's very fancy looking. 
I like it. Um, what is the radius on these blocks? Because if something dies here, let's see. Blue means it's growing. Gross. It does that while it spreads. Cool. Okay. Let's see. Oh, where did... That was weird. Oh, my gosh. I toggled my shaders. Oh, jeez, it's too much. I was like, what just happened? Everything just, like, froze up for a second. Yeah, my shaders went on. That's funky. I don't want that. All right, let's kill this zombie. Oh, yeah. It just grew a little bit. That's not good. Oh, it spread! Oh, gosh. Yeah, we definitely can't use those blocks. Nasty. How do you, you... I guess you just really... You just can't build with those blocks. It's even growing on the barrier blocks. My gosh. Did you, it grows so much. I didn't realize how much it grows. Oops, I broke a barrier. Huh. Yeah, so this... This exploding skulk... What are we? What are we calling it? Skulk bomb. I gotta think about. I, th I definitely have to think about, but I'm not sure if it's 100% there. Zoe has one. Has one what? Oh, okay. They're just hanging out. Yeah. Oh, Omer, you're going to sleep. Think it's probably a good idea. And for me as well, I think my voice is starting to go. So I think we got two towers down, not quite the five I was hoping for, but I think we're going to cut the stream here today, guys. It's been super fun, um, and I want to thank you all so much for stopping by, and, uh, and I really appreciate you all, so uh, I'll see you all next time. I'll see you all. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye!